And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Be warned, New York City. There's up to five to seven inches of snow coming the fall. What you gonna do, New York City? I mean, man, the panic kicks in hard. Although, I bet I have a flight that's gonna be have a whole problem. Going Thursday? To I bet, yeah. I'm going to Nashville on Thursday. Flying out? Yeah. yeah. Afternoon. Yeah, you might be alright. Afternoon, you have a short flight. Denver's a little bit longer. Yeah. Hey! How far is Denver? Like three and a half hour flight? No, longer. Longer than that. I think it's four. Four hour flight. Yeah, yeah there you go. It's gonna be... Uh, then they're going that the right thing is going to be a problem. On a morning flight going out there. During a storm? Oh, by the way, it's Well, the storm should be over. It's the bonfire. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Jay Okerson. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. But then Jacob will shoot me a look if I don't do that. How dare I don't know you. if you know this, but Jacob's in a dark phase of his life. He is. Oh, yeah. He's spiraling. Yeah. Look at those circles. He hasn't slept since I gave him the taste. <laughs> since I let him put his bear paw on that honey. So I gave him that little tasty poo. Mm-hmm. You know, a little you, tasty poo? Um, uh, me and Christine woke up today in a... Also, shout out to Black Lou is not here. He's on vacation. He's not with... He's no longer with us. No. He's alive, yeah, right? He's on vacation. Oh, I just thought no one told me that. That is no longer with us. I thought that'd be fucked up if This is the way we're going to drop that knowledge on you? On me? You guys don't... Yeah, I'm like, you guys have a different text <laughs> chain? <laughs> oh, my God. We texted about it. But I... See, I just saw him. No. <laughs> but he was just here. I, um, Me and Christine woke up this morning and were... I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I remember why. Who? Yeah, these... Fucking come on! I thought fucking Dobis came in here. <laughs> Doville came in here and oiled all these. Doville rule eight eighty eight. Man, that ain't my fault. <laughs> you keep moving that motherfucker. Motherfucker gonna squeak. Uh, Doville and in charge of the squeaky microphones. No, yeah. puppy monkey baby. Yes, he did it. Yeah, I knew guess it. what? Oh, now, you, now you're just punishing the listeners. They wore off. Yeah. Um, we woke up and because. Hulu and smart television stuff for a change wasn't working at goddamn all. I'm so sorry. How did you get through it? Well, you know, when you have a first world problem, I mean, you have to find a first no, world solution. I, I, I had to dial it back to traditional direct TV <gasps> channels and, and on How demand. How long? For the whole day? I didn't even go you back and still, check the thing. This was yesterday or today. I was pushed, This is today? Yeah, Dan. And you made it into work. I was pushed back to like 500 some <laughs> channels only and then everything on demand you could ever want in your life. But then I don't even know if the in demand would have worked. Maybe the Guys, internet's the problem. Hold on real quick. Let me just talk mm -hmm. to the campers real quick. Guys, clearly Jay needs us in this time. Yeah. So if you can... Well, if I don't have internet, that means there's no internet on my computer, which means I only have internet on my phone. How do you poop? Which means you can't how am poop I gonna... without the internet. Well, I can poop still. That's not a problem. My phone's fine. But I thought you do your normal website thing while you poop. I do. My problem is you will have no show. Because how can I prepare? I can't look up World Star Hip Hop on my phone. Yeah, you can. Like some on a mall? That's what I... <laughs> That's what I do. No. Do you? Yeah, I lay on my couch with my mouth open like this. You go on those kind of sites on your phone? Yeah. I don't get it. Right. Uh, not me, man. I need to. I need to. I wish you wouldn't judge me in front of everybody. I need a spread out thing. I got to see like eight of the videos at once. That I can what? Pick. No, I mean like the Jeez. options. Oh, you got. Do you know what I'm saying? Where you see a screen, where there's like eight different videos you could pick from. Oh yeah, I like to scroll up and down. No, I go. No, I get out of here. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Why is that ridiculous? It's just goddamn ridiculous. It's not the way Jay does it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fine. I'm like on my couch it's on my phone. How do you get through a day and a half of World Star videos? Something through them one at a time. That's crazy. I don't watch every video. Neither do I. But I don't want to waste time deciding if I want. I can look right away and just kind of look at them and see. Yeah, oh, I'll sure. watch that. If I'll I'm, watch that. I'll if watch I'm that. At my laptop, I'll go on there for that. But sometimes I'm just laying on the couch. That's when I'm, you know. That's what I'm doing my laziness. I feel like you guys are saying that I have an unhealthy relationship with my electronics. I feel like you guys both have a much unhealthier relationship. I never said you had an unhealthy relationship. But I feel like that's what you're implying with this thing. <laughs> you're having fucking 10 year marriage problems right now. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes you project onto me <laughs> that there's this, this is negative I'm energy. This and thing. I don't, and, I, but, and then um, I think it's the same exact thing that you do. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't understand why we're sitting in this right now. Can we please go inside? Can we please go inside? So as me and Christine are concept. living in this misery of just essentially cable, yeah, premium cable. You're refugees at this point. Yeah, I'm just floating on a raft trying to find something <laughs> to entertain us while we sit in bed for a little bit. Please help us watch TV. 
<laughs> so we pop on MTV Live Channel, which used to be Palladium, which, which was, was my awesome. favorite. It was pretty great. And then MTV went and fucked that shit up, too. Yeah, Palladium repeated stuff too much, but it right. was a cool channel. All right, it's dead. You know, a little respect. No, I mean, it repeated stuff too much. And, like, you know, it owed me a couple bucks. <laughs> <laughs> kind of told me to give me the ride to the airport one time. It didn't show up. Yeah, it's just I mean, look, I'm, I'm just going to say, look, Palladium had its drawbacks. <laughs> At the end of the day... It was a good product. Yeah. No, a I lot of people it. like played The on-demand was useless. That's what it was talking about. Okay. Yeah. The on-demand was like, it was just, you just a got good on thing. BBC America got great on-demand. I've been watching some Blue Planet 2. Shout out to Jacob. <laughs> Shout out. She's rocking those opioids. Yeah. Get stoned and watch fake sea footage. <laughs> I really hate that you think it's false footage uh, like the moon landing. Yeah. No. <laughs> it never happened. It's not the moon landing. Fish. It's not done. It's not, it's, it's, the moon landing was too... I mean, that was produced. I'm saying this is just straight up <laughs> fucking graphic designer oh, making dude. things happen. Is this our new, can this be our new bonfire conspiracy along with the you're, earth? You're the, being wowed, the Jacob. The earth is flat and the moon is a hologram? Yeah. So we added third to the list? Is that blue planet is fake? Jacob, you're home beating off to f essentially finding Nemo on English television. <laughs> so oh, I hope you're happy. This fish has a small fin. I hope you got a 4K TV to jack off to a sea cucumber. You're... Upsetting, Jacob. <laughs> I don't like to seem upset. I'm just kidding, Jacob. You enjoy your super real ocean adventure. So what did Palladium become? Uh, MTV Live. And what they were showing this morning was a bunch of TRL performances and a few interstitials. I mean... Now, here's my question, because you, uh, you had Christine bring up a TRL performance. Can you find an old TRL performance of, like, NSYNC... Or Britney's father of mine. <laughs> like, you know, Tell me where? Like oh, Everclear? I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Was that Everclear? I, they have to. Oh, it's, that's because I what? saw. That we was watched... good. That was good. Uh, late '90s. I'm mad at you, Dad Rock. Because we saw the if you could only see the way she loves me. That guy looks like a jerk. That's, that's if you want to punch a guy in the face. That live version is the worst. Tonic. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, you want to slug him for it. Get those people who love to tell you money is a food of all the kills. They have never been Oh, this is their other album. Love it. Still love it. Do you? Uh, why do I love it? You dig the clear? I get it. It's literally like what was on K-Rock yeah. when we were in high school. Yeah, it was what I listened to in high school. No. Maybe this my, song, I Will Buy You a New House. Yeah, Maybe just, I... Yeah. This, this is where like our age it's lines than up yeah. and your age takes a... Beat right. it, old man. Your age... Beat it, old enjoys man. ...enjoys the beginning, the birth of the shittiest music ever. And at my age, also, you know... Has to come teach you guys about Foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you're up on your mountain with your Toto and your Cinderella. We'll be here with our Everclear and our Seven Mary Three. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me one song besides Cumbersome. Oh, I can't. You know I can't. <laughs> That's it. Tell me one song by Cracker other than Low. Tell me one song by Tonic other than If You Can Always See the Way She Loves I don't know, me. man. We spread the wealth out in the 90s, dude. It was the... Beat it. It has to be the highest concentration of one-hit wonders. It does. Ever. The Marcy 90s. Playground. Yeah. Oh, my God, man. Sex and Candy? It was just riddled with, it was riddled with one-hit wonders. It's literally Christine's two favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> but flip is reverse because he was candy and sex. I don't know. I like candy <laughs> and sex. <laughs> and yeah. if we don't have sex, I'll just take candy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do like a good box of Mike and Ike's. Mike and Ike's? Not like. Oh, dude, I, no, no, no. You don't mean the purple and. No, green and red. That's good and plenty, so I'm thinking of. Yeah, no, no, no. They are harsh. Uh, green, green box. Green and red. Yeah, there's also a and tropical yellow. one that's pretty badass yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, but I always, I tend to, when I'm on the road, to get a, a giant box of Mike and Ike's for the weekend and just have gummy chew. Like, I'll do like a sour thing for the weekend sometimes. This Suck on some sours while I play video games. Uh, yeah, Berry Blast. Not the Berry shit. Blast. I don't do that. I do regular. Well, you're ridiculous. Well, 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Millennial Dan. You're not growing with the times like no, me. No, motherfucker. I'm an OG. I you go like, OG Green Box. I'm sorry that you got to crip out. You dig Everclear and Seven Mary Three and uh, Old Stimey Mike and Ikes. Oh, I'm sorry that you sorry. only have to. You can only eat blue Mike and Ikes. <laughs> you fucking... It smells sex and <laughs> lemon heads. I don't like those. Like you know what I love is chewy runts. They don't make them anymore. Ew. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't like any kind of runts. Those are the worst. Chewy runts were great. Chewy runts. I mean. Uh, not chewy runs were just chalk painted. <laughs> chalk and lead based paint. <laughs> that I'll agree with you with. <laughs> But, I can get you chewy, <laughs> chewy runs. Yeah, how much? What, what is it? What, what does the G go? What does it go for? It needs to take your. You just have to pass the Wonka test, Dan. Oh fuck that shit. Um, well, their Willy Wonka makes them now. Oh, you know he always did. Oh no, it's currently unavailable. See? Oh, suck it. I smell sex and no candy. <laughs> an, un- yeah. an unavailable candy. Yeah. <laughs> I smell sex and defunct candy. Yeah. I smell sex and lawsuit candy. Yeah. I'm like, why? Why did you guys pull it? Why did you pull it? If you ate chewy runs in the '90s, you might have cervical cancer. Do you guys remember Malamars? Disco. Continued candy, yeah. <laughs> they still do mambas, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do make mambas. Now and laters? Yeah. Okay. New now and laters? Who's going for a now and later, man? <laughs> yeah. Those should be called the crown killers, man. They fucking <laughs> rip it out. They'll rip your DNA, right? <laughs> <laughs> man, if you're going to suck now and later, don't commit a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Salvating like a goddamn, <laughs> like, like a fucking uh, Eskimo fucking uh, Saint Bernard. Yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> Why would you have a now and later? Mambas were so much better than getting a now and later. Listen, it says now and later chewy is a thing. They're supposed to be chewy. Yeah, they're the. I don't understand why you would want to suck on something that's sharp for so long. You gotta file it down. Yeah. And then when you would bite it, I also don't like eating a candy when you bite into it. You're not sure if you are now enjoying the pulverized candy or your teeth, <laughs> or your teeth just exploded. In I your mean, mouth. I, I told you that when I was nine, I uh, got a box of milk duds at the movies <laughs> and I was chewing on a milk dud. And I was like, this one's bad. It's all hard on the inside. And then I looked, it was my tooth. <laughs> <laughs> There's blood coming out of my mouth. I was like, <laughs> I think it was Ace Ventura too. I had a what is what he called Brookside, Christine. Those chocolate oh, covered yeah. like a side. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, uh, ripped my crown out. Really? At the stand. Oh, what a bummer when candy takes out. But Mike, stand. I'm always weird. I'm always worried about Mike and X doing that. But I still I stay loyal. I uh, I like to get sour stuff and suck on it. You sassy bitch. It'll all melt up. I put, uh, I learned that from the, the wealthy girl was Sour Patch Kids in the Popcorn. It's a game changer. Lewis is big on that. I don't get I it. I showed that to Lewis. Probably. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, I had a handful of it together. Last night was the movies. Didn't quite give a shit. I don't know how that could even, I would never want that ever over, don't look at me all angry. I am very angry. I would never choose that ever over, uh, raisinets in popcorn. Get the fuck out of here. Never, get ever, the, never, you never. Fight ever. me. <laughs> oh, you mean that? Then? Uh, fight me then. Fight me then. Let's fight me then. Throw uh, the first punch then. Uh, uh, you do it. You do something. Um, it's, I, I go Sour Patch Kids of Popcorn all day over Raisin It. Throw it up on Twitter. At the Bonfire SXM. Oh, there's no way. Raisin It's and Popcorn or Sour Patch Kids of Popcorn? Oh my god. Do you think Raisin It's is gonna crush Sour Patch Kids? It is niche. No, it's well, kinda people underground. Like, people like you, uh, more, so. Stop. They're gonna, they're gonna stop. Give it to don't you. out try to, don't, stop trying to out only child me. <laughs> <laughs> when you're like, no, it's about you. No, I think people like hearing get me get hyped up over losing something I think is ridiculous. Or maybe they won't pick you for the same reason. These Twitter polls mean nothing to me. Because way to debase it. Yeah, that's the problem. No matter what. It either they like you so they're giving it to you because they like it what do or you mean? What is it? it's or about- they pick me because they like the because you sometimes might get more wound up at the wrong it depends who they think will get more wound I'm up. I'm talking about them. sour patch kids and popcorn <laughs> or raisin. I'm saying it ain't that good, Dan. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> You're saying something I'm... I got, I got Jacob in my line of vision now, so I got to watch him fucking gnaw his tongue off waiting for another pill. Look yeah. what you started with that. Look what you started with that. Jacob couldn't even process what you're saying with Sour Patch Kids and popcorn. It sounds ridiculous. No, that's not for me. What do you get? Just a nice fucking bag of wheats? 
boring asshole. What do you, I'm sorry, I don't mean to lash out. If you were doing this lot. Twitter poll, where would you fall in the line of? Raisinets and popcorn? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Lou. Lou. His mind's not far. <laughs> Lou. Same. Raisinets and popcorn. Every time. Really? Who wants sour gummy and popcorn? It's delicious, dude. It doesn't make any sense. It's not, I mean, I guess it's technically salty and sweet, but like yeah. the wrong kind of sweet. No, it ain't the wrong kind of sweet, man. It is the wrong, it kind, ain't of the wrong kind of sweet. It's sweet. like salty and sweet and the wrong kind of salty. And You're sweet. the wrong kind of sweet. It's like uh, having pretzel bites with applesauce. Doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make delicious. any fucking sense. That sounds delicious. No. Pretzel bites with applesauce? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where my garbage difference is than yours? I'll just eat food like a pregnant lady? Yes. You like ever clear to eat like a pregnant lady? That's our difference in life. <laughs> That's our big differences. I like candy like a pregnant lady. I'm like, you know what I can really go for? It's a scoop of butter. It's, <laughs> it's some green beans. It's a ma- and some maple syrup. Dude, if you had a tablespoon of fucking butter, like, you know, like, like eat it out. Yeah. You're, you know, I'm, I'm, while you're studying for school, yeah. you know, I, my mom used to do that with peanut butter. Oh, dude, I do that with peanut butter now. Sp- just a big spoon of it, yep. and just lick it down the spoon like it's an ice cream cone. Yeah, yeah, I did it last night. It's a relatively healthy snack. I woke up very stoned. I fell asleep on my couch stoned, and then I woke up and just had to fucking take down a spoonful of peanut butter. Oh like, my god, it's a terrible thing to go through when you're tired. Though I feel like, oh, <laughs> that oh, was great. Oh. And then I had a big glass of water. It was lovely. I felt like a milk wash down. Oh, you see, yeah, I forgot you save your milk for chicken, and we're supposed to listen to this guy's popcorn ideas. <laughs> chicken and milk, everybody. <laughs> Another round of chicken and milk. Chicken, like marsala and milk, like in a nice brown Ooh, mushroom sauce. Yeah. And milk. Cold milk. There's no way after, and by the way, I know because Dan drinks like such a boy, I know when he goes back down, there's part, there's pieces of chicken and mushroom in the thing. Just shut your mouth. Like when a toddler I'll, drinks. I'll, t- <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a milk mustache. What I will not take oh. is you sullying. Oh, dude, my little brother used to, well, not ba- I guess backwash is the right word for that, but it'd be like, see a, a piece of bologna floating in milk? Mm. Oh. <laughs> is that your trigger? Is that your throw up trigger? Um, Sarah McPants uh, says, I don't understand how a laptop fits in with Jay's elaborate wiping rituals. The laptop, in fact, gets folded up and then put on the sink top that I can reach from my toilet, my extremely small bathroom. And then, and now also, Sarah, I don't know if anyone remembers this. I stopped paying homage to you quite some time ago for this, Dan. No, I... But my wiping time is significantly lower. I think Christine can back that up. Uh, rooted in the idea that I started wiping while sitting down. Shout out. And then I do stand up at a point and keep going. Hey. I but what? I get the bulk out of the way first. Can I just say this? Which was changed my life. And another way recently I realized, thank you to you, is when I uh, set up a car to leave for the airport, which I've yeah. done a zillion times over the past two months, um, I always call the car. I wake, I set myself to wake up a half hour before the car gets there. Yeah. I get up. I do my finishing touches on getting my shit together. And then oftentimes now I bat around... If I should take a shit, if I feel like I do it all, yeah. I go. Because I'll get it out and get wiped in te- under 10 minutes. There you go. Absolutely. Look at that. I make it happen. Poop before you leave. Saves, I'll tell you what, makes me feel a little less comfortable because I hate shitting and then doing something, yeah. like going on a tube with people and everything. But there is something nice about getting that first one little shot out of the way and not even thinking that at the airport I'll have to go again. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've had some, I, mm-hmm. But you don't go in public. I don't like to. But I went, I said yesterday on the show, right, when we were live, I said I'd take my, I think, like, third and fourth comedy club shits ever in Zany's. Downtown? Old Town, yeah. That that bathroom upstairs in the green room? Yeah. I poop there, too. <laughs> poop twins. But, By the way, not a comfortable poop. It's the very small. Very, very close to you. Very small bowl. And we're big guys. You got the knees up in the chest. No wipes, straight up toilet paper. But yeah. it's toilet paper, at least. It wasn't, like, rough... It's good. fucking like you yeah. know, paper towel. And it's shit. private. It's a private bathroom. It's private, but when you leave, as with me, a very lovely young lady might be walking in there right after you. Sweet. And I've smashed it to all hell. And you shit twice there? Same night. Yeah. What happened? What did you run into? Shows. I uh, just ate at this place that I really do enjoy called uh, R.J. Grunts. Okay. Well, that's... Which sounds like you're going to grunt one out later. Yeah, I mean, they're almost just asking for it at this point. You know what it had, though? Big mm. fan of? Salad bar. Big yeah. fan of a salad bar. I didn't know that. I was talking to Jay Salad Bar Okerson. Oh, I love a good salad bar. Do you? you? don't find a lot of good salad I'm not, bars. I'm very okay about a salad bar. Really? Yeah. Oh. And a good... But also, can I tell you this? Mm-hmm. 
Call me Dan Buffet Soder. You like a good buffet. Love a good buffet. That's yeah. garbage. Also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys ever been to a soup plantation? I mean, a, a restaurant come on, soup Christine. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sure, I Fucking was. Black yeah. Panthers oh, out. Yeah, I remember we were wearing bolo ties and riding up on horseback. Oh, this right here is a cream of mushroom. <laughs> that gives you any problems. Well, we could put it back into the stove for a little bit. <laughs> now, this is Dobis, my house Negro. <laughs> Would you like him to get you some soup? Was Soup Plantation? Yeah, it's great. If you like buffets and you like salad bars, I'm telling you, Soup Plantation is the place. Can we for call you it something other than plantation? None of us said we like. None of us said we like soup. Listen, I you, love soup. You, you sold. Drunk. You sold us at Plantation. <laughs> plantation, and we're going. I, said, I go. Is this, soup Plantation. I go. Is this like one of those um, Paula Deen dinner parties where I got to dress up and some old people shit? <laughs> yeah, old time. It's a get out party. Yeah. Have a gun. <laughs> Chandra, um, I buffet gotta, is what, what, what's this buffet you're trying to lure Dan to? I don't see anything here buffet. My stepdad Nick used to take me to buffets all the time. When my mom was out of town. Golden Corral type shit. Yeah, country buffet. Old country buffet. I was a fan. Is of higher it. quality than any of the other buffets. Ah, you take us sure. chicken fried steaks. I was fucking. It was a better place. They yeah. had one of those for all. They went out of. I think they're done. Yeah, they're done. Old Man, you know what buffet. I want to find is an old, a old country buffet T-shirt. You know what's funny? They were I'm too high that. quality. They were too high quality. Is probably why they went under. That's probably. why Golden Corral hangs in there because they just give you. <laughs> Dude, they put out they put out two dollars worth of <laughs> shrimp a day, and it's seventy billion shrimp because it's just garbage. <laughs> My buddy Mike, I, I, I talk, I'm talking about uh, age and a couple things here today. Sort of is a yeah. through line theme. I can't. I mean, I learned this morning. I learned this morning, Dan, I can't just fucking eat whatever before bed. I mean, we had like, just like we had some leftover taco shits. We had a few yeah. tacos for before bed for dinner. And I mean, like, it just destroyed me. Heartburn? Just heartburn, fucking blowouts. It's just, Dude, I remember when it, I moved. It's a nightmare. When I moved to New York when I was 23, I remember like, walk, you know, you watch a bunch of comedy shows. Mm-hmm. And I was just going out every night and doing check spots. And I'd watch comics. And I remember older comics, like a lot of them doing jokes about like... You know, I can't eat after, like, midnight or whatever. I'm like, oh, what? that's weird. I would go back. I would be drunk. I would go back to Hoboken, and I'd go to this diner, and I'd get an egg and steak sandwich mm-hmm. and just fucking dunk it in ranch and eat it and then pass out right after and wake up the next day like, Man. Fries, the whole... Everything. Yeah. Fries, dip that in ketchup, have soda right before I go to sleep. Man, 34, I eat... If I eat in, inside an hour of going to bed, I wake up like, and I'm like, is, someone putting, is, is someone putting matches in my chest? Oh, I think the devil just came down my throat. <laughs> it's yeah. fucking terrible. It is it's absolutely awful. So an old country buffet, oh. like those things now, I don't know, but a, a golden corral, like the idea, I get the idea of going, because look, my heart wants to go, what I just described as a negative, Yeah. just shitty popcorn shrimp. Give me two plates of it. As long as you have like cocktail, I basically just want to transport cocktail sauce into my mouth anyway. Yeah, with a texture. I so love it. yeah. Um, all right, we get it with your sloop. Oh sloop my god, Christine, Christine, get Christine. the fuck off this place. What do you do by stock? <laughs> this what are you shark? Are you, are you trying to get us to approve it so you take it on Shark Tank? We're going to L.A. There's a soup plantation. I say we go. All right, we'll go in L.A. Okay, thank you. Why? Because they have a salad bar. I mean, I, I a do kind of. Salad kinda, bar. And I kind of do like, and it's high quality. I think what they're throwing out, I could get behind. Christine. What, where's the buffet? What are you talking about? The whole thing's a buffet. It's a salad bar. But then a buffet. What's a salad bar is just a cold buffet. No. Oh, that's pretty. You know what? I kind of so like that. So you were just saying now that it's just a salad bar. No, I'm saying that there's hot food as well. What's the hot foods at Soup Plantation? They have them here. Look at all this stuff. There's like pastas know. and breads and mm. broccoli. Look, that's all Soup Plantation stuff. That looks great. How do you know you didn't order it off the menu? Because that's not how soup plantation works. Guys, let's just go there and stop fighting. Okay? You, guys, you guys go there. Now let's get back to country. Do you listen to your fucking, uh, now that's what I call Hits 95. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. I'll put a puka shell ne- uh, necklace and flip you off. You go hey, like, hey, hey, like being stoned. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You want to take our first break? Yeah. Okay. I don't have a straw, so you're going to hear a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the throw-up one that uh, Lou plays the throw-up. Yikes. 
Yes. Um, we'll take our first break. But first, let me tell you that Dan Soder is going to be at Zaney's in Nashville, Tennessee, Thursday, March 8th through Saturday, March oh, 11th. Yeah. After that, oh, you're going to catch him over at Helium in Buffalo. That's Thursday, April 5th through Saturday, April 7th. Get your tickets for that and all Dan shows and at DanSoder.com. Denver, Colorado, Big J Okerson is going to be at the Comedy Works downtown with his friend and special guest, Kurt Metzger. That's this Thursday, March 8th through Saturday, March 11th. After that, he's going to be at Zany's in Nashville, Friday, April 6th and Saturday, April 7th for tickets and all other tour dates. Go to BigJComedy.com and, of course, The Bonfire. Coming back to Moon Tower Comedy Festival in Austin, Texas this year. Watch out, Texas. Friday, April 20th at 7 p.m. at Anton's. Get your tickets somewhere. We'll be right back. It's a bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Heart day. No particular reason. Speaking of hearts, you want to hear some heart? Everyone at the bonfire. Coffee Central Radio Series XM 95. Big J. Okerson, Dan Soder. My heart has butterflies because I found out there is an old Country Buffet t-shirt. Gonna buy two. Two? Yeah. Dose? What's oh. the color you're going to play on that? I think I'm going to do a blue with a white old Country Buffet. Oh. Like a dark blue? Like yeah. Navy. Oh. Very cool. I suppose I didn't have the call screen up the whole time. Great news, we don't have a call screen up, so. <laughs> yeah, he's in the bathroom getting the shakes. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> oh, man. I'm freaking out. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, do your shit together. Get in there. Just get in there. Splash some water in your face. Get back there. He's a uh, Bright Lights Big City, Michael J. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Um, man, you were talking That's why about, I don't have a straw. I'm like, hey, guys, where's my iced tea straw? <laughs> he's been taking Take the straws cutting. the whole time. He's cutting them. The airwolf. Oh, what? Is he here? Okay. Airwolf. Airwolf. Uh, old Country Buffet. Oh, I bet it's no good. But they're, oh, they're, to- they're totally done? Yeah. The company went out of business, for sure. I don't know. Is that true, Christine? You were yeah. saying with such confidence. You have to clean the Google. <gasps> like it. Motherfucker. Uh, was that Zach Soto that sent the thing about... Uh, Sizzler? Sizzler and that. Dino Nuggets? Sizzler's no no good. I've done it not, too, <laughs> I've done it not that long ago. Again. Oh, dude, they're still rocking. Sizzler? No, Old Country Buffet. Oh, okay. But yeah. you're saying you you're, you don't like Sizzler. I only knew Sizzler from White Men Can't Joke. Sizzler's joke. bad, man. Never ate there. It's real. It's 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 Golden Corral. It's it's the same. Look, you, the, I used to get so excited when we got to go to Sizzler. It was like a nice place. Wow, yeah. you <laughs> yeah, really, we're real garbage. To God, just lived in a fucking turtle shell, Flintstone. <laughs> I mean, that's not a nice place ever in anyone's life, Sizzler. But Sizzler. They're all, their thing was always like, get, get our shitty steak tips also. Yeah. Or whatever their dumb, like, little steak meal was. I mean, but, I they, but they were garbage steaks. I just knew it because it had surf and turf. Look, I'm not, I never ate there. I think, uh, Outback Steakhouse is very good. I love it. So I'm saying, I don't, love I'm not it. sitting here judging, uh, love it. Also, by saying I'm, I'm in the fine dining. I, I'm okay with to do that over any kind of fine steakhouse. Toby Leonard Moore, who's on Billions, is the voice of Outback. Really? Yeah, dude, it's crazy. When you talk, when I talk to him, I'm like, you are the. So, I mean, you're like blooming onion. I guarantee it. Yeah, they tell me he's got to work it up too. They tell me he's got to go like, out, like go, like he's Australian, and they're like, you got to go harder. And he's like, ah, <laughs> like, he's like, now try some of our clam chowder. Yeah, 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 yeah that is oh, right. Yeah, I just ripped the thread out of the lady <laughs> working the board. Oh, my criminal. <laughs> oh yeah, um, um, Sizzler Sizzler's is Sizzler's garbage though. It's a straight. St- it, it, it direct line from your face to your asshole. It's Ooh. terrible. Mm. It's just low, low quality shit. And I don't know why low quality. What's the actual science behind like shitty low quality foods making you have to shit right away? Is it, they're over processed and shit. Maybe probably they don't have any nutrients at all. It's all just fake garbage. I don't know. Because all on paper it all. I only know. Fine. I, I only mean, you know. build up a thing to book. People also build up a thing to it. Like I think when I was younger, I don't know if. Hey, Jacob. Going to Sizzler. Do you feel better? What? Are you ready to <laughs> come back to work now? Sorry, I had to go. We, like, Sizzler. I'm beyond happy. I've gone. I went to Sizzler when I lived in Queens. Carla and Isabella, we used to go to Sizzler a couple times, and Carla would always try to talk me out of it. And I was like, I love Salad Bar. <laughs> and a salad bar that has. Jay's like a toddler that only has one sentence, and they go, Jay, what do you want to do? And I go, Salad Bar. Salad Bar's a, a lost art. Salad Bar, salad bar. 
It's a lost art. The show, it bums me out. <laughs> I love it. Ruby <laughs> Tuesdays was a, was a step up, but n- then they stopped. You want to piss off Nate Bargetzi? Tell him that you like Ruby Tuesdays better than Applebee's. He loses his I shit. Mean, this is just a no-brainer for sure. I know. Garbage places to eat. <laughs> yeah, but... Well, Ruby Tuesdays, Ruby Tuesdays used to have two things that are very important to me. Uh, first one I'll say is not necessary, and that would be pumpernickel croutons, but it's a nice, <laughs> it's a nice look. <laughs> A nice day. I love that you react to pumpernickel croutons the way of, like a fucking housewife from the Midwest when they drop yeah. and they go, look at that, Linda. It's a nice look. I mean, mm-hmm. It's a nice look for a salad bar to have some pumpernickel croutons. Oh, oh you're That's talking it. about the bar, the salad bar, the SB. At yes, 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 yes. There Talk you go. And then, cause, yeah, because they're also sort of soft. Yeah, this salad bar crispy. top with Jay Okerson. Look at those, Dan. Those are good. Look at those. Pumpernickel. They're sort of soft, but they're crispy, too. Oh, it's good. They're insane. But I'll tell you what they have, and they stopped having at their salad bar, which makes me... I'll never even go back to yourself. I don't care. I'll never make a decision again. And this is going to sound weird to you. All right. Cottage cheese. I like a salad bar that has a little cottage cheese. You like want to know what's available? On my, no, I like cottage cheese, cottage cheese on my salad. Really? Yeah, I do. Okay. The flavor of cottage cheese mixed with ranch. And the one makes a salad can unhealthy I, now. I just, I just want to stop. One makes a salad can super I, unhealthy. Can I just stop right mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. and apologize? <laughs> I want to apologize to you, Jay. Why? Because I didn't know you were going ranch, cotton cheese, uh, cottage cheese combo. Yeah, which I, does sound like an odd combo. No, it doesn't, Jay. But the first time the they, sense. the first time it hit, those, they hit each other in my salad, just in my like, face. Shh, just lay with me. Yeah, I'm with you. That's us agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a cold day. Oh, you guys will hear that on Thursday. Uh, it, yeah, ranch, ranch and cottage cheese is a great combo. It really is a great combo. Oh, it's a ranch cottage cheese dip? Yeah, there you go. It, yeah. People figured it out already. It's uh fantastic. And if you don't have cottage cheese at your salad bar, I don't even consider you a salad bar. You're just making me throw some... You're making me make my own bullshit side salad. <laughs> you make it for me, balsamic fuckface. Yeah. Oh, man. It gets me wildly angry. I guess. No. Um, I love balsamic. <laughs> no, so do I. Listen, there's plenty of times if I'm going, as I did with R.J. Grunts, if I'm going back multiple days, yeah. I'm not doing the ranch cottage cheese both times, but one of the times, I am. Oh, that's a treat. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe I did go both I did times. I, I uh, did. But I went balsamic dressing is, and cottage cheese. And this where you pooped twice? Was good. Pooped huh? twice at Zany's? No. Yes. Yes, it was. Do you think it was the doubling down of the ranch and cottage cheese? No, I think I realized now what it was, too. I forgot to tell you. And I, I, I have a history with this. No, no, no. When we were leaving, the girl was like, uh, do you want one of our milkshakes? And we were like, no, no, no. We don't want a milkshake. I go, no, you got to like try our milkshake. It's like the thing here, the milkshakes. Oh. They are. She goes, yeah, like Oreo milkshake. That's like our thing. So we go, like, well, we, we don't want. She was like, you got to try. So she basically gave us each like a. Like a, but this much only. Yeah, I shot you know, you. like a, yeah, like like two inches of milkshake, <laughs> and uh, I think even maybe just that. I just something about milkshakes, man. Do I can remember? drink milk, but man, I, I cannot. Really milk anymore? Huh? I really don't drink milk anymore, but boy, I think it's milkshake, and I've historically I've got a thing with. I milkshakes. know exactly what you're talking about because I have a thing with milkshakes where if I drink a full milkshake, I will shit like a maniac. Like a maniac. <laughs> like an hour later, I'll be like, and it's not one of those shit. Any where, science to that, Christine? I've never thought to Google do, it. Do people get milkshake shit? <laughs> Is that a thing? I mean, I certainly do. 844-266-3399. That, that's the only time I've ever given out the phone number. Because I, I genuinely want to know. I can't even look at the call screen. See? Jacob lighting up. Oh, look, that question. No, Christine, go right to that question right there. Why do you get diarrhea after drinking milk? Well, that's after drinking milk. Tolerance. And you're weak. I drink milk with my chicken. Maybe I'm lactose intolerant, I guess, but I don't know it. Yeah. But I eat cheese and I'm, I'm way fine. more tolerant. I'm dairy woke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super tolerant. I'm so tolerant. I'm gonna dive in. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna become best win. friends with a carton of milk. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry that I'm yeah. I I scream in diarrhea. There's no actual milkshake correlation. There's mm. got There's got to be a bullet. There has to be a bullet. I, it's just all leading back to lactose intolerance. All right. Well, again, I'm lactose is it in intolerant. Hot, oh, you know what it is? It is in high doses there because you're getting it in the ice cream. And the milk. So it's it's concentrated lactose. Yeah, it's a lot of dairy at once. Yeah. That's it. Powder so keg. Is there, lact, is there lactose-free ice cream? Probably? Yeah. Yeah. Well, lactose free ice cream, all those like coconut milk ice creams and do you that? milk ice creams. Do you want to make a- lac- let's make lactate milkshakes. Should we do an experiment at Dan's house? <laughs> oh, dude, I'll do lactate milkshake. I'm sure. I know Mike's got some sort of a juicer blender in that house. <laughs> we have a Nutribullet. Yeah, yeah Nutribullet house.
Oh, there I don't you think go. Mike will allow us to put that in his Nutribullet. It's my Nutribullet. Okay. <laughs> I don't want the I don't want the calories residue. Ah, uh, it's my Nutribullet. I'll fight for it. And I'm a milkshake fan. Um, Rad Rat wants to know what's our ideal salad. Well, Rad Rat, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> Hang on, I'll let you listen to this up on the thing. Rad Rat, you there? I sure am. Good to see you. Crackle, wow, crackle, that's crackle, crackle, dude. Um, what am I saying? You're not tell a Rad Rat my favorite salad's going to get. That's their porn for a rat. Salad talk? That's porn. They love lettuces and things. Um, my ideal salad is a spring mix with some spinach. Okay. And uh, R.J. Grunts had what I like to touch, shredded iceberg lettuce. That's weird. But I threw a little on top. That's weird. Um, I don't like it. I I'm like... Out. I'm out. You're out already. I'm sure, I'm sure taking the salad. You can salad. do your own. Uh, you can oh. do your own. All right. We each could design our own salad here. I might go romaine. I don't know. I'll this is ideal, by the way. I'm this is everything cut. that I really want. Uh, maybe some uh, raw white onion, but like a harsh one. This is all... I have no plans after the salad. This is all just the salad. So there's, this isn't a starter salad? Not at all. Cherry tomatoes. Nice ones, though. The fresh, maybe the ovals, so I can get a fork in them. I'm not fucking flinging them across the room like a jackal. <laughs> You're not shooting them out of your bowl like Evil Knievel? <laughs> yeah, oh, man, I hate a two-round of a stupid yeah. cherry tomato. Um, mushrooms. Love mushrooms on it. I'm already out. Thinly sliced cucumber. And take the goddamn rind off of it. Don't treat me like I'm some asshole just passing through town. Okay. I mean, no, you want me to come back. Um... Maybe little uh, ham bits, not the cr- not the bacon bits, the actual like you know ham or turkey. Sometimes they'll have at these places. Yeah, you want to sprinkle it a little? Yeah, a little salami, maybe a little meats on it, little little ham, and then uh, cottage cheese, broccoli, broccoli I like on it too. <laughs> uh, cottage cheese in heavy doses, uh, orange cheese, heavy doses, really pumpernickel croutons that are soft and crispy. I'll even, uh, and then ranch, just destroying the entire thing with ranch. <laughs> and then, and then a healthy handful of those little Chinese wing nut things you throw on the Ooh. end. Ooh. Pine nuts? No, the Thai noodles. Well, I think that's a little preview into my salad. Ooh. Which starts with a bit <laughs> of romaine and spring mix in there. What is modeling school starting? <laughs> it's it's going to attack every cho- choice you make. Chickpeas? Said it. Delicious. Cucumbers. It's chickpeas on your ideal salad. Yeah, bro. I eat chickpeas on salad a lot. It's not ideal. It's ideal. Okay. <laughs> Tomatoes sliced. No, that cherry shit. No, the little one time. Actually, no. I take that back. I don't want to cop. I don't want to copy you, but. You say so much you can get a salad bar, then you're going to say some lap over things. I can yeah. already call you a hack for just staying in my fucking I'll spring mix. Me. I will <laughs> fight you right now. Fight me. <laughs> I will fight you right now. Blue cheese. I said it. Blue cheese crumbled on the salad. Pumpernickel croutons warmed up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bacon bits or whatever is there in the available uh, company of that. Bacon bits, though, are it's their own thing. It's weird. They're little... It's not bacon. Am I There's playing no my way it's bacon? Am I playing my trash right now? Too much. Okay, I love bacon bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love man. bacon bits so much. Oh, pine nuts. What? Pine nuts. I like pine nuts in my salad. Are you a weasel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then uh, ranch. And that's it. That's it. That's topped off. Simple. That's your ideal salad. Simple dog. Christine and Jacobs is going to say some, well, some, some dry meal, cranberries and shit. Oh, well, that's what I'm getting tonight is a nice harvest salad at the cellar with cranberry, goat cheese, and then two screws of chicken on some better lettuce. Arugula? Arugula. <laughs> it is arugula. <laughs> well, and then I just of, dump ranch onto it. A nice bed of arugula. Ranch is, I mean, am I going to die because I eat a lot of ranch? Um, Mike in Chicago says iceberg lettuce is the sizzler of salads. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Iceberg lettuce is worthless. All I had growing up was iceberg salad. Uh, oh. Occasionally a romaine. My entire life ever until I met uh, Carla. My life was only in our fridge, if there was lettuce in there, yeah, it was iceberg. It was a circle head of lettuce wrapped in. Was it whatever. the crisper? Did you have the crisper? Yeah. Where you pop it open and take it out, like, and it was just you whack off the top, you whack off the bottom, <laughs> yeah. and you just fucking hunk into it a bunch, and then you oh, salad. Peel it. I'd peel it, rip, peel it, rip. You'd rip it up. You peel it off and then rip the iceberg lettuce. Not us, man. Just go fucking bat shit on yeah. that thing. Sometimes entire episodes devolve into salad talk, but you know what? <laughs> we'll be back with open buttholes next hour. Um. 
I have to, this is something for you, Dan. This might be for you. Uh, Adam in Grand Rapids. Uh, <laughs> he says for health. What is this? I'm not understanding this. Adam. Yep. You there, you there buddy? Yep. Grand Rapids, hey, Michigan. Crackle, 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 crackle. I'll be in Grand Grand Rapids pretty soon. Hey. Mm. Nice. Um, it says for health here to dip fork in the ranch first. What does that mean? Like if you have uh, go to a restaurant and have ranch on the side in one of those little cups. Yeah. You can just dip your fork in the ranch, cover the fork in the ranch, and then you just uh, put one on it, and then it's like even distribution of ranch every time. Oh, you're saying that way you dip, don't have too much ranch. I see what you're saying. So you're saying dip the fork in the ranch, carry it over to the salad. That is your ranch. You do a side of ranch and you dip the fork in. That's the way. Yeah, I respect that's you. The, that's I, the way an adult would handle yeah, it. Yeah, that's also a man who also folds his socks when the laundry doesn't just toss them all in the same drawer. I just dump ranch all yeah. over the goddamn salad. Dan's looking for his bowl to look like Rach La- <laughs> Lake Ranch of Cocky. Yeah. Oh, I want to drink a big old bowl just like a dirty girl of ranch. <laughs> I do like it, my last few pieces that maybe the lettuce is actually under the ranch. <laughs> oh, dude, I like a nice, I like a nice layer down at the bottom of ranch. <laughs> I do a couple ranchings. I do one or two ranchings. I do one ranching and I try not to, I really though, when I put my amounts on that I feel publicly, uh, not judged for consuming. Yeah. I'm like, this better mix in real good. Yeah. Cause if I gotta go up and re-ranch, I'm gonna feel like an asshole. I, oh, oh. I'll tell you what, up. I'll tell you what stretches out your ranch. This is true. Cottage cheese. All right. Yeah. You get it does stretch out, it does stretch out your ranch a little bit. That's absolutely for sure. Well, what we got down a salad wormhole. Yeah. But I have no problem with that. Originally we were gonna talk about T R L performances. Good lord. Yeah, I did. Adam, thanks for the call, buddy. Um yes, T R L performances indeed. It was um So you guys woke up and just started watching T R L? Well it was on M T D Live, which is formerly Palladium. Yes. And they were showing new T R L performances and I don't know what these people are singing. I don't are we old? We're old. We are old. Yeah. We're old. We are old. We're not cool anymore. But I'm telling you, then, but even, old or not, like I can describe to you the talent of certain things. I, I'm old, and Ed Sheeran is clearly a talented human being. Okay. I watch what he does, and I get what he does. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, uh, that DJ Khaled, uh, not my thing personally, but I do. I see he has like a talent, even just producing. He knows how to put a song together that people want to hear. And uh, has a hook and a beat. I mean, you know, but these songs, man, we're watching it. It was, it was Playboy Cardi. It was, before you hit play, Christine, Playboy Cardi, Lil Yachty, mm-hmm. Lil Uzi Vert, I believe is who we saw. And then and then a real queeby uh, batch of young boys that I'm like, that's been forever. And Christine pointed that out. And she goes, well, this is just in sync. But they're never quite as talented as in sync. That's why I've never heard of them before. Because my mom knew who NSYNC was when NSYNC came Every, out. But also, media, I don't know, it's weird. I feel like the fracture with the internet and stuff, people can get lost, whereas like NSYNC was pushed through the mainstream, so it was like everybody But even knew. One Direction, like people knew who yeah. One Direction was. But that's, I think that was kind of the last of it. Bieber and stuff like that. But Now these, you have to be big on YouTube. These, I mean, like, yeah, exactly. What's it, what is Five Seconds of Summer doing now? Or Till Summer, what are they called? They were here. You yeah, they're a sign in the hallway. Yeah, they were here like last week and someone was losing their shit. Not last week. Yeah. No. Today's Monday. Five seconds of Today's summer? Tuesday. Damn it. I think they were here yesterday. Really? Yeah. I, it's crazy you say that. I thought they were done. No, man. They're Still haunting going. you. But these bands, I, I mean, the first one I think we watched was Playboy Cardi. And I don't, the song doesn't have a beginning. It doesn't have a, a there's no chorus. There's no hook. There's nothing catchy to... The the words mean nothing. Like it, none of it means anything. What what song did you see? Is this the song? This bullshit. Yeah. All right, Jay. No, come on. It's not this one, Christine. I don't think this is it. Because what are we doing? He was outside. Or is it, is this it? I think I think so. I just pulled up performances from okay. TRL from what we saw. It's sure. all the same crap. Yeah, you know what? Even if it's not the same song, she's absolutely right. I don't it's agree. Same junk. I'm on their side. These guys are artists. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Dude, this sounds like when kids used to fuck around with Casio's uh, keyboards. Yeah. And you just hit, like, you know, where you just had the one thing and you go, poop, 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 peep, poop, peep. 
And he also, he's like, he sings like every, we, we brought this up before, this, cause this particular video, I think even. Didn't we see where, this when we were talking yes, about TRL relaunch? Cause he's not even, yes, cause he's not even singing. He's singing like every fifth or sixth word. Dude, I said this when we were, we were watching, uh, SNL when I came over to your house, and you showed me the Migos performance. Yeah. And I said oh, that. Christine brought that up too. She, not the, even the SNL one. But I'm saying, what I'm saying is it, it, it goes across the board with a, perform, a lot of performers now have texting face. Yeah. Like they're just like their face that they make when they're texting. Like, I don't know. But like I, don't know. Whole, I, I think the, the planning of like, he's got, so this guy's got one jacket sleeve on. That's pretty cool. Only, <laughs> only the, only the elbow and the entire jacket's hanging off. I mean, I kind of like that. That was my look for a while. It was disheveled Dan. His shirt's I'd on. Just come in and be like, "Oh, sorry, guys. Am I staying? Am I leaving?" His shirt's on backwards. I'm pretty sure. Crisscross. Shout out. Um, shout out to <laughs> Jermaine Dupri. Pretty sure it's on backwards. But uh, my point just being, what is this? This song has nothing hooky or ca- I, I, I don't. Another I don't know if this is the first. I don't know if this is the same one I saw earlier. That's how much he's he, outside. He is. Yeah. So maybe that's what he was wearing. I know that. But well, this might right. have been the fifth song of the set. <laughs> like, oh, I have yeah. no idea. I mean, I heard they're bootlegging this album. Playboy Cardi. Horrifically shitty. Oh, Jacob, Jacob. Don't be racist. Black Panther just came out. Did you find another one? I'm looking. I got the name of the song. song. How did they make this song? Huh? Is this 100% uh, done on a computer? Had, yeah, they had an hour to kill. I mean, it like, is. that's a great way to put it. So I mean, what's the process? I don't, I honestly am asking. It's a guy all makes done a beat, on a computer? A guy makes a beat on a computer. Yeah. And then gives to this guy, and this guy goes, oh, I can repeat the same word over and over. Over and over and over and over. Over and over and over and over. Over and over and over and over. And over and over. Um, yeah, I mean, really. Oh, there it is. There's some other TRL. Oh, she has, a, she has all the ones we watched today up. Yeah, this is Migos. The other one that he's in is with Lil Uzi Vert, which is another one I had pulled up here. Um, Stop this from playing. Or never stop that. So no, 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 not that. I thought the other video was coming up back soon. Yeah, Lil Uzi Vert performs in the dark. That's fun. But... I don't, huh? Please, by all means, look at, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know, let's watch. Yeah. TRL, this is the number one song in the country right now. That's a weird okay. song. song drops, sing the you can. We Not should ready. be bombed if this is the number one song in the country. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, sing! I don't really care if you cry. They- they auto tune rap now. Well, I mean, they've been auto tuning rap for a while. Oh, you mean the actual rapping or not the chorus? No, the rapping. The whole thing's auto tuned. Did you say all my friends are gay? <laughs> Did he really just say that? Yeah, that's what Push the caption said. Oh, I thought he said all my friends are gay. No, all my friends are. Gay. Oh, I thought he goes all my friends are gay. He go, fuck yeah, get it, sister. Oh, dude, those white girls are great. <laughs> come back, come back to that white girl. Please go back to that white girl. Oh, I've never, uh, never identified so much with someone trying to dance. Right here. <laughs> well, here's what's great. Hey, hey, me. Yeah. <laughs> here's what's fantastic about, uh, about watching these TRL videos. We'll put them all at the Bonfire SXM. Is the audience is almost 100% white nerd girls who are young and awkward and don't know so they're all trying to dance to this ridiculously undanceable music <laughs> you don't know when the chorus has happened how do you dance to it you don't know what's like there's no something to follow Please, uh, if you just bounce in place once that's it you could pogo stick on it it looks like a liquor commercial at the bonfire SXM we'll tweet it out <laughs> they're all Migos. First of all, why is little Uzi Vert writing a song about the sadness when the way the girl lied to you? <laughs> like, she lied. All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's also dressed like fucking uh, Fuzzy Zoller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's we're old, dude. It's we're old, but the we're old, dude. The look is uh, effeminate. No, it's just tighter. No, it looks effeminate. It's it's black guys, uh, black rappers now. I guess white rappers too are people in that genre. They dress 
like uh, gay dudes of my generation. Like they, they all dress like the gay kid in school, who was like very fashionable. But I, I never thought about my hip hop being super like high fashionable. Welcome to fashion. But hip hop was always like its own fashion and its own culture. But it's and not now. Baggy's just not cool anymore. Like baggy clothes are just not what's in style. That's why I'm doubling down on baggy clothes. Get ready for huge sweatshirts, Jenko jeans. If you can't swim in it, I ain't gonna wear it. But is that interesting? Yeah, it's like hip hop culture. Like, It'll come back around. Rock, yeah, but rock, to. but rock and roll cultures always had some staples to it. Yeah, studs. Just Denim. things, just things that kind of stick Blood around. Diseases. There. Blood diseases, Hep C, B, all the hits. A, but this B. was this group was the one that I argued. I'm like, oh no, in sync, Backstreet Boys. Like we always had this because it's what. Well, young let's girls we'll watch this. Let's, let's take our breaks at 6:58. I know we got to get some commercials. People pay for these commercials, so let's let them do them. Not us. And we'll come right back. We have a guest coming in. It's going to yeah. be a lot of fun. So uh, we'll be right back, everybody. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. It's heart, man. It's heart all day. It's heart day. It's heart day on the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Joining us, the legend, Lisa Ann. Yeah! Hello, hello, hello. It's hello. so awesome. Hello. <laughs> hello. So awesome. So awesome. We're, so awesome. What, the Limp Bizkit spring break that we're playing <laughs> on the TV? Um, yeah, actually, I was hoping, I don't have my glasses on, so in my mind, that's the weather channel telling me we're going to get 18 inches of snow in the city, and I'm going to get to play in the snow for an entire day tomorrow. That's really my only goal right now. I hate to ruin it, but uh, I've been looking up the weather, and they're saying tomorrow night. So tomorrow is changing. I know, I don't like that. I'm supposed to go and take my clothes off in Long Island on Thursday night, and that could really derail plans. Yeah, you know? no Long Island gets a Long ton Island, of snow. Yeah, stupid snow. Mother Nature. That's not very Mother Nature of her. She should want me to get down to my Mother Nature. Goddamn right. You're maybe God she's worried damn. that your ske- maybe Mother Nature's worried your schedule's getting too hectic and maybe you have to slow it down. <laughs> oh, Mother Nature's saying take a little time off of us. Play this Mother ball. Nature just stapled your panties to your chest. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Oh, relax a little. You, by the way, you leaving Mother this Nature's lip- a bit of a mother hen. No. Yeah. You, you leaving this lip that. biscuit on has created nothing but chaos. It's all right. It made us very, very excited. I just really miss MTV's spring break. We're, uh, Lisa, we, you were popular at a time where you probably got approached by some awesome, awesome music celebrities. We're talking about how these, I don't, I watch TRL now. I know it's our age. We're definitely sure it's our age that is the problem in this. But I mean, it's very, I don't understand what's happening on the screen at all. I feel like a crotchety old man. Are you talking about this new generation of, of, of um, artists that are like weird tattoos all over their face? Kind of, yeah, sure. Okay, That's they part of it. really freak me out. Yeah. Like, and I hate to say that. I'm not judging. I'm just saying, like, if one of them approached me, I don't know if I would be able to not run. Yeah. I mean, they seriously make me think like serial killer thoughts. Like, <laughs> who does that to their face and why? Tattoo face, tattoo face rapper's a commitment. A tattoo on the face is a huge commitment to Kashi69, who we've talked about on you here. Don't Expect I just live. found out who he was. Whoa, yeah. his face. Yeah. That's crazy. Jay's daughter's a fan. She is, yeah. She's in his uh, posse. Uh, <laughs> she's the blood. <laughs> she's touring with him. Yeah, she's down. Oh, boy. Oh she's boy. a booty dancer in the back. It's fine. She's 15, but that's legal. Whatever. Like, I think, get, I, I think, I, I, I think feel... Kentucky through uh, Oklahoma City. She's, she's only on the back half of the tour. <laughs> it does so. make you feel old, though. It oh. totally does. Because you're like, did I miss something? Like, oh. was there a, did this get somewhere? Was there some awesome drug that I forgot to take that I didn't get into that vibe of music and go into those it's looking cough syrup. people? It's, it's uh, codeine syrup. cough syrup. It's the lean. The syrup, huh? Oh, yeah. I think if we all drank some lean, we could get real into these performances. No, no, no. No? If you drink that stuff, you can do these performances. <gasps> I can be it's a mumble rapper? It's terrible. Yeah. Th- My it. question is, if I drink that stuff, we mm-hmm. drink that stuff, do we end up at the tattoo shop getting our face done yeah. like that? And Let's like, we don't come in. to until then? Because if so, I don't want to take that oh, risk. You think it gives you, yeah, it just knocks you out long enough to get a face tattoo? I wake up and go, Jay, of- Jay, what is on my face? It stings. If you have a face tattoo, like, especially when they dominate your face like that, that boonk gang guy yeah. has face tattoos, they all do. Anyone who has that, like, you... You're probably going to be flash in the pan, famous music wise. At least most of them. You don't think there'll be, a, there'll be a staying power, or they'll do the old man unplugged? I don't. And I agree is, with you. And I, my thing is, ladies like, and gentlemen, Mister Takashi Six Nine. A face tattoo that covers your face should come with a contract that you're definitely going to kill yourself if you don't die by forty. Because I Ooh. couldn't imagine. 
Living I wife think the, like I've, been, that. I've been having this conversation with a friend. I think the only secondary job that could potentially work would be a strip club DJ. You think it's because in the shadows? You can go to Home Depot. Sure. You're not going to be a massage therapist at Burke Williams. You're not going to work at Equinox. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you're right. You're, you, you would say that. I'm saying there could be opportunity as a strip club DJ. Wow. I'll tell you what. Job placement right here. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to call that's, and order a service. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's I, a good headhunter. I just got, I just got, <laughs> nailed it. I just got put a 12 gauge in his mouth and you yeah. know, you got him, you got him reasonably yeah. employed making goes, good money in a strip club. They make better money than a lot of DJs, <laughs> no? Hey, he has to use the gun in his mouth. He goes, I am turning He'll relate to street. all the young girls because they'll have been into that music. So he'll have some sort of fame. He'll probably still get, you know, more ass than he ever needs. So he's good there. This Take, works. When he takes the gun out of his mouth, he goes, you got a good point. He just talks like that. <laughs> you got a good point. Take your coat off. Get it ready for your next answer. Christy, hey, well, put on little Yachty. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. I know. It makes me feel super old. I don't I get don't it know at what all. This, he's not saying any words. Is this guy from the Sprite commercials? I love this guy. No, you want this for life. Dude, this is such nerd rock. Like, remember back in the 80s and 90s when people had synthesizers? And they're like, oh, I don't know. Wow. I remember when I was First seven and I had one that came yeah. with a keyboard. You know yeah. what I mean? But then yeah. I was over it and I listened to regular music. It is tough. Well, you could have been a hip-hop kingpin if you would have stuck with it now. Oh, kingpin. I'd be setting up every strip club in the U.S. with well, a new DJ. Well, well, I mean, well. if this guy, the, the tight pants they wear now, if this guy threw a sidekick, his fucking big black dick poking right through those little skinny pants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, my favorite was... Uh, it's going to rip out like the Hulk's back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Splits around it. Uh, dude, my favorite thing was uh, a couple years ago at the comedy club, Jay was talking to Artie Fuqua, the host, and Artie wears tight pants. And Jay was like, Artie, do you, you live in the hood with those tight pants or do you have to wear baggy jeans over it like a girl leaving in slutty clothes? <laughs> That's oh. like you're carrying your gym bag in your oh. bag always so you can oh, change. I love it. Yeah. I love well it. done. I'll, I'll never forget that analogy. Put the clit ring back in. And mm-hmm. So we're just old. So that's just basically the definition. Is that why I will never understand this? Well, I turned 40 this year, so I'm just paying so much more attention to what is my age. But I do have to believe, and I know probably every generation has said it, which sucks, but it's not just my age. This is really void of something talented happening. There's plenty of people who are young <laughs> young musicians that I don't necessarily like, or it's We're not my kind rut. of music. We're in a rut. That I'm seeing, I can still go with like, well, they're talented at what they're doing. You know, I said it before, I'm not like an Ed Sheeran fan, but like, sure, Ed right. Sheeran's like a talented, you know, singer songwriter guy. Yeah, there's talented people, definitely. Out but there. I mean, little Yachty, I don't know why is this guy on television. I like it because it sounds like it's when you're singing to yourself when you're doing stuff around the house, where it's like, oh, tell you what, I, what I do like though, I do like that Cardi B. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you like yeah, her personality. You like her in it at the gym, man. Her and Nicki Minaj together at the gym, and I'm just... So that's, that's who you work me, out to. Everyone that's listening, I'm making gym movements. Nothing like I would normally do at the gym, but just a no, flash. That was, that was that's a solid, what I work out to. That was a to. solid bench press. That's what I work out to. Though. You know, they a lot of people me. would say high repetition, low weight, which is what you were doing. I go there. back and forth. I do alternate daily. I like to, you know, if you want to bulk up, maybe get some macros in the diet, you know? Start. I'm actually squatting 190 pounds with my legs right now. That's, that's how pretty, much Dan that weighs. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Squat, <laughs> rep it out. Yeah! <laughs> Five more. <laughs> parallel. Get your legs parallel. I want to see Dan flat across oh, Lisa's me, back. Me doing the yeah. but, but me doing the lay across. Yeah. I wish that would look so good in a photo. That's insta worthy right there. Uh, That's like no, it looks like a cardboard cutout that's at a, a, a Chevy dealership. Yeah. <laughs> Where you guys going to be appearing this weekend? <laughs> Dan Soder and Lisa, adult film star Lisa Ann, local funny man Dan Soder. <laughs> it's a GMC Yukon blowout. Guys, don't forget. Get your Start of the year sales. <laughs> it's Kia Palooza. Yeah, yeah. We're giving away Maximus. <laughs> Shout uh, out to Maxima. Nissan, I love you. How about when Larry David decided he was going to go be a car salesman? Remember that? Like two or three seasons ago? Oh, yeah. On, uh, on Curb. Curb. Oh, yeah. on the show. I was yeah. like, he yeah. was just doing side work? <laughs> he lost his mind. This is the show. It was great, though. Okay. Does it all fall apart like that? He's lost his mind. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. Jason Alexander actually works at a car wash. <laughs> Um, what is, oh, this is Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. But you like Cardi B, the person, like the whole thing. It's the whole package. Actually, I don't know much about her other than everybody talking about her. And now that I've had to pick music since I'm going to be dancing again, I went to my friends who are young and hip and I said, so, you know, what are the kids listening to nowadays so I can fit in? I actually went to Crazy Girls on Friday night in LA. Nice. That is the most ratchet, amazing strip club in LA. I've is ever it really? Been to. Yes. I'm always down to hear I that. I felt like I was in the Bronx. That's what I prefer. I prefer a place where there's like, ratchet. you know, a lot of bad. Battle scars, maybe a girl like you know, yeah. creeping 
ping pong balls at me or something? Like Amazing. It. I like a big ass and some puppy dog eyes. Yeah. Bull a lot wound. of that there. A lot of that there. We gotta uh, go there. Kid, so then I Someone's gotta more keep about stopping her kid from coming out from behind the curtain. <laughs> 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 but that took me down the rabbit hole, and I understand that Cardi B is from Love and Hip Hop, and then she's, you know, she's really self-made. Like, I'm now yeah. intrigued learning about her, but I will say I've been an outsider. This has only been a week's worth of research. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, she... I just listen to fantasy baseball and fantasy sports news anytime <laughs> I'm listening to something. <laughs> yeah. But that is, she's the way to go, I guess. Yeah. So she's the number one song to dance to right now? Well, don't dance to that, the main song, because no. the, the line is, I don't dance now, I make money moves. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I, I understand she was a stripper, and she She's she's uh, propelled herself to this, so I get it. Uh, I'm being productive. And Has careful. it made you think about rapping? Definitely not. <laughs> oh, come Can you on. picture that though? Get a face tattoo. No, I'm not doing that kind of rap. <laughs> come okay? on now, just come a big L, but L A across you for Lisa oh. Ann and but it's the L A Dodgers thing. Oh. Oh, not, the thing sells itself. I will never get drunk with the two of you again because I do not oh. trust you. are my credible witness. You cannot let them do this to me. Do not get a face tattoo. Listen, I'm going to be drinking lean. I don't even want to get drunk. Christine just got out of uh, extensive laser surgery. Last time she fell asleep around me and Dan, we did tattoo her face. Yeah. So she is. A, <laughs> her number was 222, like Corey Feldman. <laughs> Who's that, Christine? Oh, is this at the, uh, the club? These are crazy girl girls. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That place. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Let me tell you a little study story. We're going to the door and the security guys are massive. You know, and the guy looks in my bag and he's like he takes my pack of gum and he's like we don't allow gum in, in the club wait i can swear on air here right yeah now. oh fuck yeah uh we don't allow yeah. gum in the club and i said oh, okay and why is this because i think there's going to be guns and drugs in there for fucking sure right yeah. and a drug dealer or 10 right he's like we don't want it on the floor i looked up at him i go what about all of the semen okay <laughs> you don't give a fuck about the semen i'm taking back my gum trust me i won't spit it on the floor but it was just a moment where i was like we're really gonna beef over my pack of gum yeah. listen the exit's gonna be on the other side of the club i'm not new and i know i'm not gonna go back out there and get my pack of gum and i might still be rolling out somewhere else i'm gonna want that fresh breath yeah do you think it was a little bit of like the you know pulling your hair and saying you're yucky to try to get your attention was he, he or was he like really no, trying to it fuck was your night really out? his job they're not allowed to have gum in the club but that's I, just, hilarious. I was the only one that made sense of it and the people that I hurt with were dying. So I'm like, what about this semen? Yeah. <laughs> Come goes, all over the floor. You're worried about some bubble gum. Fun thing about crazy girls. We had the same rule as a kindergarten homeroom. There's no gum unless no you brought some gum. for everybody. You should have found the lippiest pussy in the place and been like, that girl sat in gum. <laughs> <laughs> Once I got my gum back, I took it as a peace treaty and I yeah. moved about my night. And then nice. you, you should have chewed it and just spit it out of your mouth as you're walking out. Oh, mm. no. I, I, I might want to go back there. True. What do you do as a patron to a strip club? What does Lee Sand do when she walks into a strip club? I fucking love people watching at strip clubs. I sure. mean, we saw some great shit. One weird guy that just kept making laps and making laps. And after about hour two, he just found the right girl that was drunk enough. And next thing you know, they're like on the floor. She's giving it all to him, like right on the floor in the walkway. And he, he keeps pulling out like three or four dollars at a time. And she oh. wants more right but it was just a great scene to watch did you stay for the pancake breakfast? Did not. Did not. Oh, you like to go for the nice lunch special. <laughs> they yank your drink out of your hand at 2 o'clock in the morning and dump it in a bucket. And they walk around and take everybody's drink. And be like, just take the whole cup. Why really? Why do you dump it in a bucket? That's so disrespectful. They go, hey, you got to leave. And now this. You can, no, you can top. stay till 5, but uh, you just can't drink really? it. Really? Can you believe that? So they bully you at 2 a.m.? They go, hey, give me your drink. No. Oh, what's better than not drinking and watching girls who don't, aren't going to fuck you? <laughs> Sober, Smoke weed. So, yeah, sobering Everyone's up. smoking weed in there. So. In there? Yes. Oh, that's Now it's got a real rap video. Now it told you. Yeah. It was amazing. And not like, you know, Robitussin rap video. <laughs> yeah. Fun rap video. Um, Crazy girls. Yeah. Free plug. We should go. Why? Check it out. Yo, <laughs> do, do, do me a favor. Everyone pack gum. No, Everyone I think he said a gun. Gum. I was like, gum. well, I don't know if I can get my gum. hands on one that quick in L.A. I don't know. Oh, don't worry, we can get you. It looks pretty. It yeah. looks pretty black in there. Maybe pack gun. <laughs> <laughs> gum and gun. Gum gun. Yeah. I mean, there's, yes, there's not a girl who works there with real hair. I'd no, say pack you know gun. What? I couldn't find one either because that's what I was kind of, that was kind of my criteria. A couple of little hotties did walk up to me and knew who I was and were super flirty and I was like, all right. So I, you got some like bald Wakanda chick? You were going like to go home and smash that. clam with her? No, I just wanted to be able to tip her of my friend's money. Oh. That's all. I was just looking for somebody worthy to make it rain on. And I yeah. Just, you know, make a booty it clap. It wasn't my money. Was it so a booty clap rain? It was going to be a booty clap rain, which is not my co- uh, absolute favorite. I just want a super hot girl. It didn't happen? No one struck you to tip a bunch of money? 
uh, I tipped a little bit here and there. I, I just chilled out a little bit, but no one got me. Like the girl that I thought was going to get me like there got side railed and I couldn't follow her when she was going stage to stage. I knew it was about time that the song was going to be up. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, when's she coming off? Cause I really want to get a dance with her. You know, but I want to be that creepy person walking through the club stalking her. So I just let it be. Okay. Christine is only impressed by one stripper at the st- one strip club we went to ever and she fucking pulled her. Oh, yeah. her home. Really? Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. One time I got a dance in Denver and this girl had very large, this lady had very large breasts and she took her bra off. What made her go from a girl to a lady? Did you feel inappropriate about seeing girl? Uh, that, yeah. That it, felt weird, it felt weird saying okay, girl. Okay, good. We, we, we correct that. She kept calling him young man. Yeah. Young man, I need you to move over. I can't get my leg over <laughs> Excuse you. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. I got to uh, okay. hey, a second. Hey, I just slept in this. My room is a little cold. Yeah. yeah. There it is. All right. There you just got to get the engine running and then I go. <laughs> <laughs> but she All right. A little starter kit. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, let's get it moving. Uh, uh, I got to run and start this one. She removed her bra and then she lifted up her breast and found uh, what I thought was a dollar. And then she pulled it out and unfolded it and looked at me and goes, $100. And I, but the way that she said it was so sweet that I was like, I can't do it. We're done here. I got to go. How yeah. she's up $99 without yeah. you. I know, but she you just didn't looked, have to get the dance. But she, she was, was so surprised. She goes, hundred dollars. I was like, oh, this one's on the, this one's in the house, booby. Oh yeah, you like that? I'll put a little extra into it. Then a hundo. Hook, you get my rascal up here. Let's, let's, let's girls ever offer you free dances? Uh, no. I can't believe that. No. Usually, girls offer cute guys free dances. I've never had that happen once in my life. Yeah. Also, I haven't gone to a ton of strip clubs in my life. But my favorite, I, I went. But I also went and got like the my buddy. Uh, Lorne, he used to work there. Yeah. I went there. I was, it was a fun night that I went to a strip club with the guy who like ran the place was awesome. That's gotta be a little But it better. was immediately after when you leave, you fell. I was like, I was like, oh, I don't like the, cause it's always like, I know even though it looks to me where I'm like, oh, these two, I was young too. So it's like these two girls came in and they were both like, we were told to come in here and do whatever. I know out there it's kind of like, you and you, you you have to go do yeah, this now. You two are <laughs> late on Tuesdays, so guess what? You got to do my friend over there. That's, yeah. what, that's what you got to do. That yeah. Yeah. That's the key. Yeah, yeah, yuck. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't be late. Like it. I, don't be late. You my own see, ego. I don't like it. My ego like, makes me. I, I, I hate oh, dude, it. That's so funny. That's like restaurant side work. They got dick side, side work. work. Totally. Like, Would you side have work. felt better to just pay for the dance? Yeah. Rather than your friend just hooking it up. Um. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I would have felt better, I guess, ultimately. But I mean, I was broke. I was like a young kid, like doing comedy, like featuring out in, like, uh, Toledo, Florida. Ohio. It was Florida. Oh. It was Florida. It was, uh, I think it was Cheetah's we went to as a place in, I know in, Cheetah's in, in There's a West Palm, West Palm. And then just there. Went, so you just didn't like it, that you didn't enjoy it, or you didn't enjoy it at the end? Just something about strip clubs in general is like, it's a, you're paying them. I, I know there's gonna be a genuine, like, oh, I mean, the best you're gonna get. It's a game. I, you're I playing believe, a game. I believe the best you're gonna get from a, from a stripper when you leave the club, the best review you could possibly get, outside of just a flat out, like, attraction, like, I wanna fuck yeah. that guy, is like, oh, he was, like, actually a nice guy. Yeah. So, like, that's the best you're gonna get. He wasn't, like, a piece of shit and a creep. I, I look at a club like that, like where I was the other night, and I see how much money is out, how many different p- types of people are there, the people watching in general, the, the class systems all over the chart with like normal people look like accountants coming in and a foursome couple, and I'm like, oh, I want to know what these four are doing here. Yeah. It's the people watching and the fascination with knowing how much money is generated inside a strip club on a night like that. Like oh, that, yeah. But, it blows your mind when you walk back into the office and you see a safe, and I didn't go in this club, but I can remember working on the road, and there'd be like fifty to 70000 thousand dollars in the safe from the night you know Jeez. i'm like oh, i just can't even believe all that happened in this one building yeah well you know a restaurant could be in business all year to try to make that kind of money you know oh, what yeah. I mean? sure. just in one night it's sick yeah my favorite it makes is- me feel on the edge remember revenge of the nerds that's why <laughs> that's why the nerds sold all their pies because the bottom yeah. of the pies was pictures of naked girls that were illegally taken behind their back <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there was really no prosecution came down on those nerds they did a lot of illegal activity yeah. in that movie they had some insider info because there, there was, was a fucking real rape creep, rape creep there was shit. a there's a flat out rape in the moon bag house <laughs> and then they started just giving away pictures they took illegally of these girls it also very weird i'll step in here right now trademark infringement that guy wore a darth vader mask. <laughs> <laughs> that, was not a, that was not a good darth vader mask though. and i'll tell you this there's no way george lucas signs off on that it was i'm telling you it was they did it different enough to make it not darth vader yeah it was bad oh uh, they did a couple adjustments i at strip clubs it's for me the times i've went i just like going <laughs> and being so direct with the girl that sometimes it throws them off where you're just like hey i'll just i'm gonna take three dances right now and they're like hmm 
<laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Instead of like doing the cell, where they're like, "Where are you from?" And I'm like, like hey, "Let's just go. Let's go get dances." <laughs> like, I don't know what. I, it's I, almost I, jarring. They're like, they're, ah. "They are jarred. They don't have to play you." Yeah. Like, so I'm like, the role is I'm like, new just target. How do I play him? And then you just come clean with it right away. And she's like, "Well, now what do I do? Do I yeah. say thank you? Yeah, it was good great. doing business with you. Let's go back in the dance room right now. Uh, would you would like give me your email. Like, yeah, you know, like it was I so legit. It. Yeah, I, I, I shop quick. I'm it like, made sense to me to go with Christine. I did. I don't fully get. Nah, I get if it was going to be. Well, I'd also never if, been. If, if me and you and were your on the whole road, life to and, a strip club. <gasps> until what? Until two years ago. Christine oh, was raised yeah, in another. She's one for one this though. This makes me happy. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I've never been, so I will. She's I like one for one. Go. One for one. Yeah. What's well, the thing? If Lisa's back out in L.A. when we go to L.A. at the end of the yeah. month. We'll have, take us to some, we'll have to take oh. us some seedy cum bucket. Yes, we need. There's other more shady. Well, there's levels. I'll just give you a breakdown via email, funny. and you can pick which level you want, or we can do a multi night thing. I do like going to strip clubs. Can we bring our friend who writes off Broadway musicals? We can bring yeah. anyone you She'll want. Love it. The more She's the merrier. Right. Yeah, we'll get a group. We'll get a party bus. Yeah. I tried to go. I came out to New York in 2004, and me and my friend, my girlfriend, tried to go into a strip club, and they wouldn't let us in without a male escort. Really? Yeah. You yeah. know what? They all got in trouble for that because. Because, you know, you're not allowed to run a business like that in the United States. I mean, when I started dancing, clubs never let women in. I thought it was if they so were weird. with a guy. And this flat out discrimination. You have to let them in. But yeah, they think that you're they're prostitutes they're or you'll no. take attention away from they the dancers. They think that you'll, st- oh, these old school guys think you'll start a fight. Like there'll be an issue with a girl oh. in there. Like, and they don't have a bathroom usually for female customers. And so you have to go back. It's death defying to like go in the that. dressing room with the girls in the, in the regular light and how dirty it is. Like you will never want to go to another strip club. So, so oh man, so strip clubs install some women's bathrooms. I always, I always advise that. <laughs> yes, I always advise going. that. Don't let them bathroom. share. Yeah, I mean, you can't. I, I thought maybe the concern would also be that like a woman's going to go in there and like anything they see, it's like a little shady or dicey in there. Like just be kind of vocal about. You like, think we're tattletales? So, yes, yeah, exactly. I think he's calling snitches. women snitches. Do you, do you think our yes. gender is like we're snitches? I guess with your vagina comes great. Tattletailing. <laughs> With great they're vagina of, comes of, great tattletailing. They're out of paper towels. You're like, oh, that's the thing you're going after right well, now? Well, I've been in one fight with Christine in a movie theater where she had every chance to scrap, and you know what she said? I'm getting the manager. Oh, I love this. Can we? Yeah. Can I hear this story? What happened? Oh, well, Sorry, well, sort of told, but like she, uh, she, yeah, we had a thing white lady did up, and her and, uh, and this chick started jawing, and uh, <laughs> me and the girl's boyfriend. Had a minimal jaw session where I see this guy, he, he didn't want to fight and at all. And then the girl, though, kept going. And I started saying shit to the girl. And then the guy, but then Christine had her moment. And she really gave me a, did you just say to me, ah, 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 well, I'm going to go oh, get a manager. How yeah. about that? Oh. You know, you did the right thing. It and that, and that's, that's no, she, the you most know why? important part. There's no you thanks know, for it because the girl still called Christine white trash. She did the whitest, yuppiest way to yeah. handle it. And the girl still called her white trash. And you know why her Christine? Because she is trash. They you know what? No. The altercation was never <laughs> worth it. But, you know, I'm going to be the one to always suggest the altercation just because I want to hear the outcome. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it when I can get my friends to do stupid stuff. I do stupid stuff. I mean, I just had a cable guy that was so obnoxious that when he went to sign me out after the transaction on his little, you know, iPad, what have you, I wrote, you suck. And that's something I would normally not do. And I thought that was really over the top. And then your cable got switched off. You're then, then he had to hit it again. And I had to sign on a second page. And then this time I wrote, you suck again with a sad face. Like he just sucked. Yeah. So that was me getting super violent. So I'm with you. I <laughs> did cuss him out though. You did? Oh, fully cussed him out. I was like, I am not your mother. And I'll tell you what, if I'm going to clean up for six hours, footprints all over my floors and my carpet, after a guy who's not laying pipe, are you fucking kidding me right now? I guess Christine actually, uh, she did get it out like later on. When I left town that weekend, she walked around yelling at a pillow. Right. Thinking, oh, there he goes. She goes, oh, yeah? Maybe I won't even won't get a magic. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, oh, oh, no. You know my favorite part yeah. of the movie? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, no, no. no, no, no your boyfriend's right. My boyfriend's wrong. I'm just going to walk over here and I'll do yeah! Why don't you talk to the magic since you're already in the hallway? I'm not in the hallway. Yeah! 
<laughs> Christine doing at home karate to a pillow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just fighting a pillow. A punch pillow. I thought about what I should have done so many times because I have to. That's say, every the, situation. The though. only reason why I'm super uncomfortable with how it went down is because the manager did not kick her out. If the manager had kicked her out, I would have been got, so white and happy. You just got real white when you said that, though. When yeah. you started saying it, she goes, and then the manager could have kicked her out. Did not, yeah, though. Yeah, he should have. Ma- he should have. Oh, and I will tell you something right now, and again, I do not... Yeah, I'm sorry. No, my argument, I go, she physically threatened me. Why does it have to become physical before you do anything about it? Christine, I was like, why do I have to get in a fight? Take off your shawl before yeah. you say these sentences, <laughs> please. I said to myself, is it nippy in here? I said to myself. You did do the right thing. But she... I she like did. I did do the right thing, but I'm not comfortable with how it went down. Like I almost feel like business. getting in a fight would have been. Do you like, think you would have had a release if you would have gotten into a fight? Just some like this fucking cunt got nothing from her being oh, an asshole. Wow, like, big she fancy was talk being now. An asshole and fancy nothing talk bad now. She's not her. here anymore. Because now, oh. now she's just gonna live life acting like that still. Oh, like so I wish there had been some sort of consequence to her, whether through oh, me or hey. somebody else. Do you That's not what you said when she was right there, little piss pants. Well, they did refund our tickets and our concessions and give us free tickets. I bet they refunded so. their tickets, too, after they made us leave. Oh. They made you leave? They didn't make us leave. We left on our own. Our I choice would... was stay there and finish this fight after the movie. Or that would have been fun to like brew about it in the parking yeah, lot. There's no way. And like map it out where it's like a flat out assault. You guys come running out, maybe some hoodies, something, just like, hoo, hoo, hoo. they'll never see it coming. Like it breaks the car. Out. Bam! Man, Lisa, you do Man. like fucking They black were guys. the type of people that would have waited for us. Man, Lisa, these black gangbangs are fucking your world up over here. No, this is how you're supposed to think about things. Sitting in the just get seven black guys to show in the car here. together oh, for the rest of the movie and like letting you get how angry you are yeah. that it didn't go your way. You would have been hype enough to really get it done. We probably could have, I'm sure that the girl would have started talking shit again. The security guard was going to stand next to her. So we could have spent our night standing there waiting for more conflict to happen. We decided we were just I would have go. never, I wouldn't have like, watched it just the movie wouldn't have been enjoyable. at all. At all? Not. I would have completely oh. been sitting there the whole time waiting for just staring any, at him. Just waiting for any sim- sign of the guy almost like even like looking back and then be of like Of course. <laughs> like, yeah. like, I'd waste the whole movie just to have that moment where I'd go, What's don't, up? Don't you understand so, the killer is... What's up, dude? Are we going to fucking do this, dude? I have a question, Jay. At any point in time, did you feel like giving that male manager a wedgie? Oh, no. That would have been a neutral or, way to go. Or a purple nurple. The manager was just like a dummy. They, they they didn't mean anything as far as like... They, they, they wanted to help us. After the middle of all of it, and Christine getting chomped, and us getting up and leaving and returning snacks for our crew, Credits and getting our free Wait, white, white give, people movie tickets. You had to give back the snacks? No, they had to we were going to keep, keep our $50 movie snacks, not at a movie. I would have taken home eating in the car on the way they home. Did, they, told, they, told, they, they did say we keep They said we keep everything. Of snacks? Movie snacks? Snow caps? Gummy they told bears? Us, they told us we could keep everything. We didn't. And I told you, that was the worst part of that whole story. Is As we're sitting there returning our <laughs> snacks, the guy goes, sorry, man. Are you a big Jay Okerson? I'm a really huge fan. No, <laughs> so good. Meanwhile, in the background, you see Dave Smith is just like still barking. He's like, no, but I mean, the free market suggested if you kick somebody out, they can't, but, and I'm like, uh, Where's there? can we just get our money and get out of here, big please? J- big Jay, what are you doing here? You're like, oh yeah, no, I'd like to return these. Are you returning <laughs> snacks? Are you giving back Reese's pieces? <laughs> uh, don't you see a credit? Could you hurry this up? Just a credit would be good. <laughs> Um, I'm like, Jay's right. I'm a pussy, and I should have thrown hands. No, you did the right Yeah, Chola. Christine. I should have, there's probably, I'm like, I'm just not that chick. So Christine I feel goes, like I did the right thing, but it sucked. But the next time it happens, I bet you beat the fuck out of some bitch. Mm-hmm. Let's, it depends on mm-hmm. if she's in my weight class or not. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> um, we're hanging out with Lisa and everybody. You're going to hang out with us for the rest of the show, right? Uh, yep. We have to take a commercial break. Lisa Ann will be at Gossip in Long Island, New York this Thursday, March 8th, promoting her return to the adult film industry. Back for more and better than ever with Evil Angel. We're yeah. going to talk about that when we come back from break. Um, it's the bonfire. Kirk, Kirk. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. This is what old men like. 
This is what old men enjoy. So not music some was music. The broads knew how to dress. Uh, the uh, rappers wasn't mumbling. They was rhyming. <laughs> you don't know about that with your kids with your codeine and your cough syrup. Limp Bizkit was in full flux. I knew Method Man <laughs> when he was a part of the Wu-Tang. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Joining us, Lisa Ann, who's going to be at Gossip in Long Island this Thursday, March 8th. Promoting her return to the adult film industry, back for more and better than ever with Evil Angel. Hi, Lisa. Hello. Thanks for coming to the bonfire. That uh, that, it's just, cozy. Remi- that just reminded me of uh, it was a great, funny comic when I started in Philly named Breakout. He was yeah. from Delaware, but he used to have a joke, and I was so young. You know, I'm 19 or 20 when I started comedy. He used to tell this joke, but he goes, we're going to have some fucked up oldies when we get older. He's kind of right. He goes, you'll be at a wedding. He's like, put it in my mouth. In my mouth. He goes, oh, look at Pop Pop go. In my motherfucking Nick, uh, mouth. Oh, this was my cut back in the day. Nick Swartzen had that joke on his first Comedy Central Presents. So he stole it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you heard Jay. So Nick Swartzen stole it straight Jay's- out of fucking Breakout's mouth. You heard it right here first. Jay Okerson called Nick Swartzen a thief. He only steals from Breakout from Delaware. Oh, Delaware Breakout. <laughs> it's his the, only victim. At the Laugh House in Philly. It's one victim. Put it in my mouth. In my motherfucking mouth. Well, I think Lisa. Yeah. You're back in the game. Yeah. Were you guys surprised? I was very, very surprised. Yeah. Being that I told no one. Yeah. I was very surprised. It just, yeah, the announcement came with the release. Yeah. And I'd already shot. I started shooting this movie in December and okay. I actually shot the first scene with no one knowing me. Everybody signed NDAs because I wasn't sure yet. I was like, I want to see how I feel okay. like the day after. Like, am I going to be this? Everyone comes up to me and says weird things. And that's what's made me have this reality. And one of the weird things is like, oh, your life is going to be so much better now that you're not in the business anymore. Like, in the, so like, now I was in the business for over three years, and I kept thinking to myself, like, am I different? Like, what's different? Like, yeah. I had so much fun shooting sex scenes for a living. Like, I love traveling. Like, what's so different? So I shoot this scene in December, and I go home, and I kind of sit on it, and I'm like, okay. Well, it seems like I paid a guy to have sex with me was what it felt like. Because, you know, when you're producing, you don't pay yourself. You just pay everybody else. Yeah. So better, but you're then I'm going to do something with this scene. So after I shot it, I went to my friends, and I'm like, so I shot a scene last week. They're like, What? Uh, yeah, I don't feel any different. I think I'm going to shoot a whole movie. And it kind of really Try started a like dick. that. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have my deal with Evil Angel yet when I shot that scene. Uh, I was just really going to release it on my website if you I was going to use it at all. I just really did this without anybody knowing. You were going to do a porn mixtape? Yeah, like a mixtape. You guys got in the booth. You yeah. started banging it out. Yeah. That's kind of how it went down. Um, you know, it's such a fun business, and traveling in 2017 was just so funny for me because I'm meeting people everywhere. I went to Australia twice, traveling to all the trade shows, and, you know, like, dudes are just, and, and women as well, are just like, you know, why can't you just shoot a couple of more scenes? Like, we like your scenes. Like, you know, what was the reaction? What was That's the a funny thing to ask, though, ultimately, too. A guy asking that question is, why don't you just fucking well, yeah, well, just what, go what, fuck like, a guy yeah, like, again? What, what, for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it made me feel. You're so, you're so, you're so, you're so. You can still do sports radio. We don't care about that. But, you know, can't you just do a couple more? It was really, it was so really funny. warm. Come more. Come take, on. A fucking, yeah. take a gash pound so I can fucking knock uh, one out. Come man. on. I never saw you something in purple. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. What about like an outdoor shower thing? Are you doing suggestions? <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of ideas kicking around over here. I jerked off to you a lot. The world kind of likes it. Yeah, fuck yeah. Well, welcome back. Yeah. You want to see if you may... <laughs> you didn't jump back big, like gangbang stuff. This no, just... so far my first movie is just all boy-girl scenes. I worked with three performers that I already had worked with in the past. And then a new performer, um, Marcus Dupree, who had just won a bunch of awards at, at AVN. I, I actually didn't even meet him before the shoot. I went through all of my people and I said, listen, I want to have one scene that reminds me of when I was new and I knew nobody. And I want to see if I can feel a difference in the energy when he walks into the location. He just so, came in and punched you in the chest. I was already excited. <laughs> Get in that basement. We had DMs in social media when he first got in the business because he's like, I came over here from Russia and I really want to work uh, with you. And I'm like, oh, I, like, I just retired. Like, sorry. sorry. So, we, so we had this build up. And we it just was, got your videos last week. <laughs> you know what? Oh, you retired. We just got new rock music oh, in your impossible. videos. You're early 20s. Uh, this is just, Reagan still president. Just yeah. like you guys. Working with people who don't speak great English is awesome because you really don't talk much. Yeah. It's fantastic. You yeah. get all the important I mean, it's stuff. It's really, it, it fucks our job up because then they're like, how you say, how you say I, uncircumcised? Hey, this is, I bring hammer. <laughs> you hammer. want hammer or sickle? Hey. Sickle is butt. <laughs> sickle is my taint. 
fucking <laughs> secret. So he was the only guy that you didn't know. I didn't know, so it was kind of trippy. It was a whole like and he it's spoke a whole different. No English. A little English, but I feel like it was just it was just an energy thing. Like I really wanted to have sex with him. He really wanted to have sex with me, and I was just like, this is it's just fun. Yeah, it's fun he talked to you like a NASA monkey. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he was actually. You guys, you guys are very familiar with Rocco Freddy, right? Rocco yeah, okay, he was Stan's trained. Great uncle. That's my uncle. He was uncle trained Rock. by Rocco Freddy. So I already knew his porn style from watching his scene. You put, a, you put your face on the toilet with his foot on the back of your head? Nope. <laughs> Before Rocco was like that. Oh, uh, old Rocco. And Rocco knows how to do scenes both ways. It depends on what he's shooting. And that's really what I knew Marcus knew. Marcus knew when he took direction, which I always tell everybody exactly what I want before the scene and what I don't want. Yeah. Um, and then we just take it from there. What do you say you don't want? I don't want any choking, any violence, anything degrading to either party, um, nothing that isn't sexual, anything that looks too... Um, Staged. What about impressions? I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no it's impressions. me, Ray Romano. Oh, this is much warmer oh, than I thought it was going to oh, be. Oh, God, your pussy's so wet. Oh, oh, bro. Oh, God. Oh, hi, Dad, Ray. No impressions. Oh, oh, I didn't know. Are you in the I'm middle of fucking that. Lisa Ann? Thank hey, you. I'm going to cut all over your tits. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm near the end. I'm about to lose. You're it. gonna let two black guys go in your butthole and vagina? I mean, Why <laughs> would you do it? I can't even. He's more young. I can't even. I'm gonna doctor fill that pussy right back. <laughs> Well, we just wrote your next movie for you. <laughs> what kind of a credit do we get? Well, you can have the title. I'll let you title it, and I'll let you pick the talent. How's that sound? Is that possibly true? <laughs> yeah. Can I say Shane Diesel for every scene? He's my best. <laughs> really? That's got a big old thicky. Yeah. Christine, your thoughts? In another life, you're a porn director. 1,000%. Uh, a thousand percent. A thousand percent. If you, you were not in comedy, you could. just come on set and direct one for me? Just, just... Yeah, right? Yeah. Dude, I, like that. I like that. Jay goes on. He goes, hey, can we <laughs> actually, can we strike the light? in the left real quick. Okay. That's the problem. I'm not going to know any of the technical stuff, but I could definitely direct Go off where the like, action goes, for oh, sure. Well, you don't have to write camera and lighting. That's not what the director does. You just need to tell everybody what to do, what positions you want. You look at the girl. Do you want to see her face or not? Does she have great tits or not? Is it a great ass? Because you're going to want some revert. Like, you just got to map out what are her high points that I can showcase in these five positions I want. I'll tell yeah. you what, I'll tell yeah. you what, I'll tell you what I've lost significant batch weight to mm -hmm. is there was a <laughs> little, uh, there was that a... Took me a second time. Oh yeah, he, Jay, Jay talks and cum weights. I'm all euphemisms. Yeah, it's like Canadian science. It's a little. It slowly went to that. I was like, all right, what? What? You lost batch weight too? No. I've lost uh, two. There was a, a a short show, internet show that was a. Uh, it was like a porn, like, you know, you could become a porn star thing, and they put, like, you know, eight people, like eight guys and eight girls, and each week they'd kick two people off. Was that, like, the Browsers um, model house? Thing? It might have been Browsers. Yeah. yeah, it might have been Browsers. Okay. Yeah, I saw that one. But, dude, yeah. there's a pool one? It's, well, it's just like, <laughs> so the thing is, like, what's fun about it, I mean, so the scenes that go good are good because you're like, it literally is just two strangers they put in a room, and they give them direction, and they I do it. I love that you're believing everything about this. <laughs> <laughs> Does they also have paperwork. And he gives oh, me, I'm sure. He gives me ideas. shit for liking wrestling. <laughs> Yeah, this is porn wrestling. No, like, Dan, listen, uh, fake or not, that dick's going in that puss. No, well, I'm, maybe that they don't know each other, but I'm saying what I did think was interesting was there. I think there was like genuine like reality show house like yeah, there is. rift. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I there think, is. I think a girl, like, was getting weird fucking a guy because she heard he found out, like, somewhere where he was like, yeah, I think she was kind of like the... The winner. But no, yeah. she, no, she was like the shittiest lay of the group. Oh. And then he had to do a scene with her and, like, she was doing kind of bad in it and, like, she was that whispers. It? Right very, there? One she, house? She whispers very, like, uh, quietly to him. She was like, oh, I thought I'm the deadest lay in the house. Like, she's really mad at him that he said that about really? her. Really? Yeah. That would it's, be like, a it's like a weird thing for while, somebody to say if you're one, trying to win a fuck contest. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, and what, but, but while his dick's in her, she's like going like by the way I'm not in this because you did this thing it's like really you should have said that before he started fucking you again oh no <laughs> now he's inside of you now he definitely yeah. doesn't think you're a good lay no <laughs> yeah. oh, you know what my you know what my technique is bringing up awkward stuff mid fuck like, first time she was cadaver second time bitching and complaining <laughs> second time she went you know I don't think you're a good person you go ah oh, well I'm getting real soft oh is there a part two coming out now I Looks bet like you can't it. wait it, well, well I mean I skim I skim I don't get invested in the characters but I definitely am interested. So you're saying it's all... I'm sorry. I don't want to ruin any reality no, show for you. Fine. It's all real. Um, what kind of porn do you really like? I what have you lost significant batch weight Yeah, we're still, I'm still waiting on this. I'm dying. I've, well, I said my new thing I do, 
People actually asked me this weekend. What a fun what real world is. looking scene. Yeah. I go on, I go on lobster tube. Yeah. This is the thing I do now for a weekend. People ask me about this weekend. I brought it up on the show before. And I pick from the first page just a, a, a single category that they already have okay. a whole bunch of things in. All right. Milk, and then I add, whatever. and then I add the word gangbang facials. Okay. So keywords, it, that's keywords, your, that's keywords. Your, that's your little flare at the end? So two weeks ago it was chubby gangbang facials. <laughs> okay. This last weekend it was, I I this, last week, those. <laughs> this last weekend was ebony gangbang facials. You you popped up a couple times, but I was going more for the black girl, but with the white guys. But that's always it's very hard to find that it's 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 not easy to find, and when you find it, it's always a scenario of blinding racism like, yeah, oh, every time. Really? Uh, what you call our friend, and she's a doll too. Uh, it was funny. I called her Mary out Jean? for doing. I called her out for doing the. Uh, did you call Mary Jean a doll? <laughs> like, um, Am I wrong? Am I wrong on the no, guess? She's a doll. I'm okay, sorry. But. Uh, she, well, I called her out and she was adorable for doing fart porn. Leighton, Leighton Benton. Yeah, yeah. But she did one of those, like, you know, a bunch of hillbilly dudes, like, yeah. fuck her in the thing. It's really awkward yeah. to watch. Because I actually, I, 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 I've met her enough times to be like, oh, she's such a sweet. And I know it's an acting thing, but it's Doesn't still matter. weird. It's still weird. Still, I would like everyone where I work ever to be like, okay, you can go through all of my movies and nothing is really weird. It's yeah. just sex, okay, people? Just Mine sex. would just be socially weird, Rebecca. Are you, are you cool? Are you okay? <laughs> uh, on the first, on your gang porn races, the first, uh, Five guys, I'm into it, and then by the second five, I'm just, as a friend worried about you. I go, she's gonna, she's gonna not be able to walk tomorrow. It well, doesn't really affect me that way. With the line kind of change, the line huh? change, with the line change, like hockey. <laughs> <laughs> just go over, over the side of a counter. <laughs> All right, I'm in. He goes, she's working five up top and four below. He goes, oh, it's power play. <laughs> uh, Leighton Benton Fart, you brought him up. Yeah. Good girl. Um, great. Do you want to do, do our? Porn. We were going to do this uh, comparison. I, I, I want to. Yeah. I want to. Yeah. You're back in. You're back in. Yeah. So I should do this. Back and better than ever. Check it out from Evil Angel. Jay was saying we were doing because you just started doing your porn noises. I want to hear there. your girl point porn noises first. Okay. And then we, I'll do my guy. Swanky well, no, not first. just we're all going to do girl. Okay. First so, girl. Yeah. And then who's voting? Um, we'll let the we'll let these three. We'll let okay. Jacob, Lou, and Christine vote. Okay. And we'll do, we're gonna do, uh, girl noises first. Yeah, we have three. There's three things we're gonna do. We're gonna do girl noises first. Second round will be guy noises. And then third round will be Jay and I doing our regular guy gay sex noises for you, Lisa. Casual gay sex, but you're the receiver. That's the noise. You have to be yeah. the noise of the guy receiving and casual gay sex. And, and, casual you, and you know gay these sex. noises? Okay. No, we just, these are just oh, look, we're taking an artistic, we're okay. making an artistic choice. <laughs> choices. We've watched men fist each other on this show. We kind of know the noises that they make. Uh, at least I know we're not all thespians in, here, but is, we made an artistic choice. Was it in studio? Did this really happen? No, no, no. They just put it on the back and then we put Blue Planet to two dudes fisting. Okay. And it was fisting is sometimes not f- fair for how much arm was in this guy's ass. I mean, fisting's he, not the right word. It's, it's arming. Bit, yeah, it's it's a bit much. It was forearming. It's yeah, it was Something very aggressive. It was forearming. And then we had to put punching. on. And then we. Oh, with is, the, that, is that the term that they use? You could have given, oh. you could, you could dry gulch somebody with how much arm he had in this guy's. <laughs> uh, all right, you want to start with your porn noises? Yeah, let me get a little swanky music, Lou. Yeah. Really? That? What? Yeah, you know, I started going and I, I dried up. Pick, pick a song. Let I dried me. up. Yeah. I dried up with that. What song should we? I mean, should I we know it's going to be Daft Punk. 70s and Daft Punk. Like a Portis head, maybe? Ooh. Oh, really? I was going to go straight like swanky 70s. Go for it. The porno actual music. Yeah. Kind You're of going back with the. Now all those musicians are out of work. Are they? We buy their samples, though, to put them on our movies. There you go. Good. <laughs> I'm going to do samples. Christine, anybody have some porn music brought up? What'd you make a face at, Christine? What did you just see on that screen? What, what's going on, Christine? Are you angry? Oh, oh I can't what? watch that. Why does everybody look away? And I just, well, I, I get angry if Christine took it off the screen. I mean, it's just a lot. It'll be dude. a category for you next weekend. Yeah. But, but Fisting, gangbang, gangbang facial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to find some live shit. <clears throat> Keep it alive. Oh yeah, this is definitely 70s porn music. I love it. Yeah, which was the one that I was doing that you liked? I don't know, you gotta play it, dude. I'm just a yeah. Now you're, yeah. you're doing Yeah. Now you're doing better than that. Uh, what was I doing? Was that a girl? I don't remember now. Yeah, well, we gotta do it. Uh, I think, I don't know, but it inspired me to go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. That's horrible. That's pretty good, Lisa. Hold How about on. we do I'm not done, Lisa. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. 
Bunya! Fuck yeah! <laughs> I see the girl getting it a little bit rougher. Or she, oh, you take under their breath. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I said I go to Chubby Gangbang Facial. <laughs> Those are the sounds. Are these bad? Yeah. Are these bad? Are we not doing well? Most people don't, don't you think? I turn the volume down usually when I watch porn. Just well, I, music. I do, I do I that because like to hear people sound. I do that because somewhere Christine's looming around. <laughs> <laughs> Our mornings, we're just both jerking off. On <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck with that kind of breath. <laughs> All right, my turn. Yeah, a guy or a girl. Go this is girl, a girl first. first. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, right there. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, Bush League. Bush League. <laughs> I, no. <laughs> Clearly does me, J.U. Uh, moving on to the next round. That, that was that fantastic. Was, yeah, that was actually boner inducing where Jay and I was breathy. more... Yeah. Breathy. I didn't realize how annoyingly shrieky mine was until you I had a good one. No, I thought you were really. selling that as like a hard... Like, I thought it was hot as fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Would you fuck her? Yeah, Would you fuck her? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now it's yeah, we're going to do the dudes. Yeah. I don't know which way to go on this one. Do I do through the teeth or do I do... Because porn dudes are always really crusty. So you get the crusty... I was going to do a Randy West. Oh, oh that's a good That one. is so crusty. Yeah. That's Hashtag crusty. crusty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a Randy West. <laughs> I'm killing Lady with this. Yeah. Yeah. Lainey's worked yeah. in the business since 1971. She's been everybody. Oh. She was she was oh. Peter North's attaché. <laughs> TT boy used to call her up for rides to the airport. I love that you guys know all these names so well. I love she was that. Jake Steve's personal travel assistant. Bobby Vitale. Yeah, she used to go get cocoa butter for Mr. Marcus. <laughs> now you're getting a little. That's moving up a little bit. All right. I was going back. I was saying more of like a Jamie Gillis. I'll go further back. Backwards. Ooh, Jamie Gillis. Right. Gross, right? John Doe. Remember we had a guy named John, John Doe? Doe. You, you guys want to go real dick nasty? Oh, oh I wrote that's about crusty. him. Yes, yeah, yes, super that's so crusty. crusty. That's yeah. really crusty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the male counterpart. Who's the old man who looks like Poppy from Seinfeld? Who used to be in porn all the time? Bob Jeremy. No, Bobcat. He was, he was Bobcat Shut something. the front door. There's a guy named fucking Bobcat. Yeah, Bobcat. He used to like... Uh, you watch some old ass porn. Yeah, VHS shit. Oh, I used like to watch some really old porn. Yeah. Where it was like... A lot of Bush. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a big Bush fan. I'm a big Bush fan, yeah. And not the Gavin Rosdale style. What's up? Uh, Pussy was, hair. There was all those guys that same time there. Real. There was a the guy that was Tracy Lord's boyfriend for a while. Why am I drawing a blank on his name? Laney, you would know this. Oh, uh, Tom, Tom Byron. Tom Byron. Tom Byron. That's Tom all the wrinkle balls. Byron. Byron. There was another Mark. Another Mark that had like feathered Johnny hair. Mark Davis. Mark Davis. I didn't know Mark Davis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Sean Michaels been around for a long time. Sean Michaels for sure. Not Mark Davis. It's not Mark Davis though. So. Let me see Mark Davis. That's Christine. Tom Byron. That's Tom, Tom Byron. Byron. No, I know that. Yeah. Yes, for sure. A young and an old Tom Byron right in front of us. That That's is Mark Davis, but he used to have hair. But no, not him. Oh, I can't remember his name now. Are there guys that really enjoy the, the spitting of their cum back into their mouth? Yeah! There are guys that do enjoy what we call the baby bird. Baby yeah. bird! Baby bird it to me, baby. Baby bird, baby bird. All right, so... Uh, are you I, call, it? I, call it, I call it a gluten-free dessert. <laughs> no, that's fine. Oh, you mean frozen yogurt? <laughs> I call it Go-Gurt. I go, yeah, let me get a go -Gurt. I go, hey, real quick, go -Gurt that back to me. <laughs> oh man! All right, is it is it is it cooled off now? All right, now go guards in me. <laughs> hey uh, yeah, yeah, go guard it to me. Yeah, oh, I like a good loud cum shot. So we do, should we do uh -huh. ma should we do male yeah. cum shots? Should we do or I was gonna actually do a male cum shot. Yeah. Okay, we'll okay. do male. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. <laughs> Is that through the teeth? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. Right there, there, there. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. 
So I picture that's the cum shots come out there, very sprinkler system. It's a yep. lot of small drops flying. A uh, rope, like a rope, rope, no. and then a dribble. Rope, rope, yeah. dribble. No, what you just did yeah, was, was not that. What you just did was no. You yours just spat it out. Yours was a, a spat. It, 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 it oh, traveled. It. it traveled, but it, it it made a it made a little bit of a mess in a lot of places. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Me, Fun shot. I'm trying to really just cut you across like the Phantom of the Opera mask. Okay. I'm trying to really lay a heavy rope. I'm doing buckshot. Buckshot so should I go, At least it should be the finale, so uh, yeah, yeah, I should of course. go next. I, and I, remember, mine is the big rope, so that's the yes. retraction, the pee hole squeeze, yes. and the blast. It's... Huh, uh, meow! 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 <laughs> 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 and then I break a board. <laughs> I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come right there. Get out! <laughs> it's, a, it's a real kick in the chest with cum. Uh, I'm gonna pass out. You guys all pick up on another accent as you yeah. go into your I, first I Japanese. Japanese. Your woman, I she you. was so many things. I Japanese you know? cum. I Eastern European cum. I taught woman. you everything I could teach you. Uh, there's a cum. <laughs> yeah. All right, and finally. Uh, so I, I think guys make really weird noises. Yeah. There's a lot of like, a, there's times where you're just trying to keep a straight face during the guy's pop shop because <laughs> he makes such funny noises. Or there's one guy who has to rub his chest to come. And so he rubs his chest really hard. And the whole time, you know, the camera's on your face because it's supposed to be a facial. All you're worried about is the cum going to go in your eye. And am I going to be able to keep a fucking straight face till this shit is over? Because he's such a weirdo. You hear a lot of like, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh yeah, and you're like, you're like, oh, yeah, right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's just true. That she nailed it. It's making you feel bad because you've done that one. I go like this. I go. Wait, that's, exa- that's, exa- that's exactly what I sound like. Down. Ex- it really is. Boop. It's like it's like you're trying to uh, tell someone how to move something from the patio of somewhere. We're like, no, out, left, left, over. Uh, watch <laughs> yeah, out. That, no corner. Uh, that lost oh, it. god damn it! It's all over the place. <laughs> It's, it is very hard to keep a straight face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And especially the guys go like this, where he's like, oh, yeah. Oh. I've never understood a, 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 a little extra thing you need. There's quite a few guys to like, have them, and they'll, the- and they'll do them during that time while your camera's on you. Everyone's not moving. This is the most important shot of the whole day. And this guy's over doing his own thing, some weird shit. Is it like when baseball players step out of the batting yes, box? Yes, it's just like that. Thing, or they're like, I gotta tighten you twice, <laughs> then I gotta go this side, do this. Yeah, it's like that. Like, oh, I don't know, though, things like, oh, yep, yep. if I'm like, it's taking me forever, I think the thing that would help me is like, weirdly like, just talking, like, like, I was like, like ask, but asking like filthy questions. I yes. think kissing helps. I'm always down for the kissing. I think kissing really helps, and then I don't have to hear them make weird noises. They go, yep. <laughs> hold on. I'm not laughing when you're coming in my face. They kiss so like a deer. <laughs> they kiss like a deer in the woods out of a lake. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Ann, thank you for coming and hanging out. Thanks for having me, guys. I'll make sure I get you a DVD when they come out. It'll hit yeah! the streets on yeah. April 18th. Title is Lisa Ann. Back from work. Now, Dan, you can watch her video and fuck her plastic pussy. Yeah! Probably. Flashlight, baby. There's a great, uh, yeah, there's Still a... Still haven't. Haven't worked it over yet. There. I haven't. I, I own it. It is sitting in our uh, It's a rainy day thing time. there. Right, it's going to be a snowy day tomorrow. Maybe fuck is it. Is it a fun thing if Christine... Like, oh, yeah. holds it for, is that kind of thing? Yeah, you can do that for sure. You can, hey! you can play with him with it. Can you can s- also put it on the bed as an indicator that you don't want to fuck him that day. Can we, fa- <laughs> can we FaceTime you while we do it? So it's like we're having a threesome with you if we, we FaceTime you? We sure can. Digital threesome! Uh, do you mind if I'm possibly making my dinner and we just, you know, I oh, kind dude. of making my dinner, we FaceTime? As long as it's healthy. Hell yeah, Lisa Ann's gonna I'm be. I'm not a, a food porn guy. <laughs> Lisa Ann's gonna be at Gossip in Long Island this Thursday, March 8th, promoting her return to the adult film industry back for more and better than ever with Evil Angel. Uh, April 18th it comes out, so go pick it up. And then, of course, Big J Okerson going to the fine city of Denver, Colorado. The downtown comedy works this Thursday through Saturday. And then he's going to be at Zany's in Nashville Friday, April 6th, and Saturday, April 7th. For tickets and other tour dates, go to BigJComedy.com. Dan Soder going to be at Zany's in Nashville Thursday, March 8th through Saturday, March 11th. After that, you catch him at Helium in Buffalo, New York, Thursday, April 5th through Saturday, April 7th. Get tickets for that and all Dan shows at DanSoder.com. Check us out this year at Moon. Moon Tower, Austin, Texas. We're coming to you Friday, April 20th, 7 p.m. at Antones. Lisa, we love you. Always fun to be back. Last yeah. time, 
Was it the last time I saw you? We went to the War on Drugs concert. Was it, it was. Yeah, yeah. Across yeah. The street, yeah. Right across the street. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. That was you guys have taken me to some fun stuff. I appreciate you very much. Well, Aww. welcome back and thanks for coming to the show. Thanks for having me. And Jay, I love you. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 